All right, shalom, shalom, family, shalom. Shalom, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. All oh, praise the Most High. We get some people in here. It is a Thursday night. Everybody is kind of winding down. Some coming in, some not. All praise to the Most High. All right, peace and blessings to everyone. All praises. The Lord gave us a beautiful day today. I'll tell you one thing, it was sure hot today. In Atlanta, anyway. In Atlanta, boy, it was hot today. Six, eight, seven. Yeah, it was really hot today, you know, but the Lord blessed us with a beautiful, beautiful day today. And um, we was able to get some things done. You know, working a lot is kind of hard to get out here and do things. But the Lord, one thing I can say is that when you walk with the Lord, he gives you strength. Even when you're tired and when you're feeling like you can't move. One thing about the Most High, he'll give you that energy to keep on going. And that's one thing I love about the Most High. Yes. All praises to the Most High. How's everyone doing, family? How are we doing? How are we doing? We've been trying to work on a couple of formats here. Um, and what we're doing is I've been recording the lessons, but I got a 4K camera going, so I'll repost it. But one thing I did last lesson, I took the lesson down before I reposted. it. Then, didn't know it would take a day to get it done because I didn't understand um, the new process that I was working with. So um, what I'll do is this lesson here, I'll, I'll post the other lesson. But what I'll do first is I'll go ahead and keep this one up until I actually get it going. All praise to the most high. How we doing? Shalom, shalom. Looks like we got a lot of people coming in here. Mm -hmm. All praises to the most high. Yep. Shalom to our moderators, Fancy Seed Planner. Yes, Fancy. We fancy. see you. We see you, Fancy. All praises to shalom the most high. The Arthur house. Pedro, how you doing, Arthur? All praises. Going on, Neff? Well shalom, Ma. Albert, how you doing? Um, I don't see who we got. Um, Barbo mm -hmm. Plelik. Shalom, shalom. Daughter of the Most High. Hey, family, how you doing? Jojo Dancer. Jojo Dancer, how you doing, Jojo? Peace and blessings. All praises to our moderators and everybody who's joining us here today. Yes. All praises. Um, we got to go. We want to, you know, we're going through these lessons. Um, and, and I always tell people this, in order to know where you can't know where you're going, you must know where you came from. Mm -hmm. One thing about the books of Enoch, Enoch is telling you end time prophecy. He's telling you how the world works, how the sun and the moon works, how the days operate. And he's also telling us exactly who are the sons of darkness and who are the children of light. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty deep. Um, yes, yes, okay. yes. And so he's he's showing us. All these things as we speak, he spoke it of a long time ago. Yeah, you know, whenever you see the dot there, see? I can't see it. Oh, there see you go. Now. Yeah, you're good. So, um, and it's a beautiful thing because right now in these times, you know, the scriptures say in the last days, there'll be many highways of what? Knowledge. knowledge. And right now this knowledge is given back to us. And you know, I have people coming to me and they'll come to me because they've been dealing with these pastors, these deacons who 70, 80, you know, and they're in the old doctrine. And, you know, um, one of the sisters who we love to death, she actually was she was uh, one of the ones we actually baptized. Um, she didn't come to the baptism. Mm -mm. No, she didn't come to the baptism. She came to the Passover. Right. Right. And she was telling us about family member who is um, actually her family owns a church. They, I think right. They own a church. Local. Yeah. And they got a little upset with her because she wanted to be with us and fellowship with us. And one thing she came to me today about was Paul's writings and. She was talking about um, actually Peter when Peter was when he had the vision of the animals and he said, you know, I'd never eaten anything unclean. And then she said that her uncle and I think that is. Uh, uh, what chapter is that? Numbers chapter 10, is it? You talking about with Peter? Yeah, it was. No, that? no, 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 Peter. no, 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 no. I'm thinking about. Uh, she wasn't talking about. No, she gave me another precept. It wasn't okay. that it was a different precept. Um, I think it was Numbers chapter 10. I'm not sure. But anyway, she was going through some precepts. Well, she was telling me that they were going back and forth about it. And I had to explain to her. And I thought we went through the lessons and then we read that about he wasn't talking about animals. He was talking about men. Yeah, we did a whole lesson, did a whole on, lesson on, on it. What, what not to eat. What's right. clean. And what's unclean. Clean food. Why. Right. You know, how is how it affects things spiritually. You, did you tell her about that video? No, because I have totally forgot. We've done so many videos. Okay, I forgot. Okay, you're listening, Ms. Totally Wells, forgot. please totally forgot. Uh, look yeah. on the YouTube channel and right. send that video. It's about the uh, Levitical laws oh, on right. food. Clean, what's clean and what's unclean. Yeah. In that lesson, we went over those letters, you know, and we went over the writings. 
And so we expounded that he wasn't talking about animals. When you got to think it's verse 29, it tells you that he was, it was three men and they were centurions. And then these men we didn't associate with because they sacrificed to other gods. They drank wine that was, you know, prayed over. And so the Lord knew that he would not entertain them. But the angel told him, hey, when these men come, you need to open your doors. And so when they came, he knew to open the doors and the Lord gave him a message to give to him. So he realized it wasn't animals, but it was man that he said didn't make unclean. But what man does makes themselves unclean. And this is what's important to understand. So I told her, just go ahead and tell me, call me. We'll go. We'll read precept by precept, line by line. Here a little, there a little to expound. Um, the scriptures say that the young will teach the old. So even though he's 70 some years old, you got to remember, he went to theology school. The Lord says that the knowledge of this world is what? Foolishness. Foolishness. So the Roman Catholic Church is the one who taught our men theology. You understand? They're the one gave them that propaganda because that's all it is. It's indoctrination. When you start reading this word precept by precept, line by line, you'll learn that a lot of those things there that these go. men Somebody taught. Put it up there, Acts 10, verse 10. Okay. What are they talking about? That okay, it was Acts that. 10, right? It was mm -hmm. verse, it was Acts chapter 10, Thank exactly. You. Thank you so much. I wasn't sure which one she was, but that was Acts 10, is where she said. Mm -hmm. So saying that, when you go ahead and keep reading further, you'll realize it was men they were talking about, not animals. Because everybody wants to just eat what they want to eat. They want to just go ahead and say, you know what? Well, you know, well, 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 what did Paul say? He said, you know, you can eat anything, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, Paul was used as a stumbling block. We went over this in the lessons. And he said certain things, but they didn't understand what he was saying is spiritually. It was a spiritual talking that he was talking about. He knew, let's think about this for a minute. Back then, why do you think Peter said, I've never put anything un unclean in my mouth? Why do you think he said that, Sister Mackay? Because he was under the letter of the law. And they if, knew better. And if that they would have, not it, something that they did. Period. Because they would be it what? didn't even come into mind. What would happen to they them? They would be punished. They would be punished. And so they didn't even think about those things. So for people to sit now in these days, because you've been so used to eating pig, shrimp, scallop, lobster, catfish, you understand? Some people eat bats. You know, I don't see some of these Asian people eating frogs with full bellies on them. Remember you the one lady who tried to cook one rats. One of the sister, one of, a sister, yeah. To go to the hospital. We like. saw a sister try to cook a rat, trying to be like these other nations. She ate it. Guess what? She broke out all she over. So Her sick. neck was swollen. Yep. But why? Because the Lord said he made us press way in his image. And we're supposed to eat like he told us. He said, I'm going to give you in this book, I'm going to give you life, but I'm also give you death. If you do this, this, and this, you'll live. But if you do this, this, and this, you will die. Most of our people do not eat clean foods. And this is why they're sick with gout. You know, this is why they got diabetes. This is why they got sickle cell. All of these things. And some people are born with it because of what their parents have been doing. And so saying that, um, we have to read precept by precept, line by line, and expound. So if anybody ever wants to go, I don't go back and forth. What I'm going to do is give you a precept, okay? I'm going to give it to you. And if I don't, what I'm going to say, if I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and investigate, and then I'll get back to you. But nine times out of ten, when we go ahead and open this book up, we're going to read the forward and the latter. I'm going to give it to you right then. All praise to the Most High. You know, the one mm -hmm. thing about Satan, right? if you go back to the very beginning, the very first commandment was a dietary law. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thou it was a dietary what? law. What was Do it? Do not Eat. eat from this one tree. That's right. You can eat from all, all the, the other, other trees. Ones. Yeah. And see, that's the thing. Yeah. The devil comes along and tempts Eve with what? Food. Food always. <laughs> and there's so many scriptures that talk about right. how the belly, belly. Right. can get you into a simple state. And that's that's so yeah. important yeah. that y'all understand that. As a matter yes. of fact, right mm -hmm. now in this hour, we should be because of the time we should be eating less, less way less to build up our spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay. When oh. you eating all these unclean things, it affects how the Holy spirit flows through you. Well, she can't flow properly. That's why the scriptures say in order to feed the spirit, you got to start what the body. Come on. So you got to starve the body in order to feed the spirit. Why? Because if you truly think about the essence of who we are, 
We are spiritual creatures. Come on. So the spiritual creatures ate what? We ate manna. Yes. Manna is light like a loaf of bread. It's super angels light. Angels food. It's angels food. When the Lord fed to us, he said that whatever we would think, that's what it would taste like. So saying that, when we ate manna, one of the main reasons he fed us manna, think about if you ate cows and animals and all of this stuff. For 40 years, we ate manna. Why? Because we had to walk for 40 years. Can you imagine eating all these animals and eating all this heavy stuff, eating bread with yeast and all of these things? And the next thing you know, you're bogged down. You can't even make the walk. The <laughs> Lord did everything for us for a reason. You know, that reminds mm -hmm. me of something that I saw right. where the man said, we were not made. Our bodies were right. not made to be graveyards. No. You know? That's right. When you think about it, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's best to eat just fruits and vegetables. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? That's but, what we ate in the beginning. Yes. Before the floods. Yes. After the floods, the land was flooded for a whole year. When you read Jasher, you'll learn that um, the land was flooded for a whole year. So therefore, there was no plants on the ground or earth. There was no herbage. That's why the Lord loaded the ark up by what? Sevens with, with clean, clean animals. animals. He loaded by two with regular animals. Yes. Why? Because he wanted us to eat it with thanksgiving that he gave it to us, so we need to be thankful. This is what he means by when you do something, do it with thanksgiving. Yes. That means that if he said that you can eat this, this, and this, then that means that you can do it with thanksgiving that he gave it to you. But if he told you don't eat this, this, and this, right. that means that there's gonna be something that's gonna be happening to you. Maybe not now, but over the long run, you will see it. So I thought we wanted to bring that up because she made a great point when she was talking about it. I told her, just have him call me and me and the pastor can go line by line, precept by precept. Um, because a lot of them Let are being upset. The video first, though, because yeah. a lot of them questions he's going to ask. Yes, yeah, probably, probably in there, that. yeah. Yeah, so sis, go ahead and tell them to look at that video on Levitical Laws, following the eating properly. Um, go ahead and tell them. We've made 169 or so videos, so. Because we break we down that, yeah. in that not Everything. only the yeah. physical but the spiritual. aspect, but the spiritual aspect of yes. how these things affect you spiritually. What do we get there in the testimonies? You no, know, what was that? Barnabas. 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 Which well, is in Barnabas. The, um, um, it's in the 120 book, book Apocrypha. Apocrypha. Right. It's and in it's also book. in the pseudo. 54 book Apocrypha. I think it's in the pseudo also, isn't it? Is it in I the don't think that one's in there. Oh, but okay. uh, Letter of Aristius is yeah. in there. Yeah, so we got it in this. This is one we got. It was pretty cheap when I purchased it. It was like 34 bucks. But so I, I think they raised it. It's like 60 bucks. They now. went up. They doubled the price. I was able yeah. to get me and my wife one for about 65 bucks or so. But now they've doubled the price because people are starting to order them. Um, so what we do is we want to read. I'm going to read a little bit of Enoch, and then we're going to read a little bit of War Scrolls. Thursday nights, we try to keep the lessons to two hours, three hours max, um, because we have to work the next day, of course, and you guys got to work as well. Mm -hmm. All praises. But we thank the Most High for bringing us here together, right? We thank the Most High for waking us up right now, right? In these times. We're thanking the Most High that when everybody else around us are afraid, we're looking up and looking up and knowing what? Our deliverance is near. Even at the door. It's even at the door. Hallelujah. You know? And, and, and this is deep. I was sitting there looking the other day and I was sitting there watching um, the Iran thing that was going on. As a matter of fact, I might need to turn comments off. Mm -hmm. Do I need to yet? I'll wait a minute after prayer. Let me let some more people get in here. And what happened was these people kept reporting over and over and over again. Well, 99% of the missiles didn't get through. Well, 99% didn't get through. But then you got Iran showing something totally different. They're showing the missiles coming in. And as they're shooting these from the Iron Dome, as they're coming in, actually one of the missiles jumped up above that one, went this way, and then shot off. Another one, when the missile came at it, it all of a sudden, what it did was it deployed another one, and it went hypersonic, and it tore their bases up. Folks, and I'm going to say this again, as I said in one of my shorts. Right now, the Lord is hardening the Pharaoh's heart. Yes, he is. He's hardening, just like he did in Egypt with us. Yeah. Remember what he did? He, he let us out. Now, you would think with the 10 plagues and after they had the flies and they had the lice and they had the, 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 the darkness for three days and they had the water turn to blood and all and even the firstborn being killed, you would think, well, well you know, they're not going to follow these people. They don't see everything. Hmm. But what the Lord does, he will send Lucifer to harden them, the king's heart. Sure enough. Why? Because he wants to show his power. Yes. The reason that his Netanyahu's heart is hardened 
And the reason that he's saying that he's going to go ahead and do what he's got to do is because in his mind, it's about pride. He doesn't want them being attacked and them looking weak. But if he use wisdom, you'll know that, hey, we can't defeat these people because we got too much going on as far as their technology. Now, you know what they said also? And I don't know if you guys and gals know this. But they also said that they used their missiles from 1987 and 88 and 89. They didn't even use that new stuff. Okay. Only thing they did was put some sophisticated technology on it so they could deploy differently. But they didn't use any of their new weapons. They said they got stuff now that they haven't even put out there that no one knows. Mm. Folks, this is bringing in the Battle of Armageddon. This is when we are about to be delivered. Gog, Magog, Moab, Russia, Iran, and China, they are joining as we speak. They're all one. Aren't they all part of BRICS? Let me ask you a question. You tell me if their hearts are not hardened. You're in China, but you got Taiwan that you got missiles and you're starting to send them things. And now China said, if you make one extra move, we're going to go to battle with you. Then you got North Korea. North Korea told all these other nations that we'll help you out. They even told the Africans, we'll give you what you need. Then you got Russia. And Russia who is Gog or Rosh in the Bible, who's the captain who's going to lead the armies. And that's why the Lord has made Putin the smartest of all the European men. He trained him a long time ago when he was a child. And when he became 18 or 19, he joined the KGB. And when he did that, he showed them all the workings of America. And then he showed them how they dismantled their country. Because I do believe that their president at the time was in the pockets of the Americans. 1,000%. Gorbachev. You I know, believe that one thousand percent. So right, I was right. watching this um right this, this video from nineteen eighty something, and right. they were explaining the Russian strategy, right? How they will break down a moral fabric of society first, mm -hmm. in order to weaken that society, right? Oh, and yeah. then come in and take it over. There you go. Who who will do that? That was one of their strategies. Whose strategies? Uh, Russia's. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, praises. So they know how um, these other nations work also. Mm -hmm. And so therefore they knew when the Berlin Wall went down and, and then when that was a precursor, but also when all of a sudden when Ru when Russia was dismantled and all the and it broke up into different parts, you know, that he got Putin was upset about that. He was very upset because he knew that Gorbachev had pretty much sold him out. So saying that he had a pact in his head, I'm going to restore my people back. Do you guys remember when the Russians were in lines, long, long lines, getting milk, bread? Why? Because the oligarchs are the ones who, the 1%, as we have in America, they didn't let any of the money pretty much flourish through, through the people. And so Putin came in. He says, you know what? I'm going to get rid of you. Not I'm going to get rid of you. They say, well, how much do you want? He said, I want half. They say, half? He said, yes, because you have what belongs to Russia, because what they did was they started setting bonds out over in that nation. And what people was doing, all the, the, the local citizens were buying them up. But what the oligarchs did, they came back in the end when it, when it, when it got really bad, and they bought them all up. So they, and, and these bonds gave them stock in companies. So what they did was they came in and bought them all up, so they owned all the companies. So that means that the average citizen did not have any money, they didn't have any capital. And so they were taking it all. And that's why you saw a lot of those people who are wealthy over there ended up being um, taken out. And I'll just tell you that in so many ways. So then the money start being trickled back to the people. And then they could start rebuilding their nation. Now, that is just being self-preservation. And also that's fulfilled Bible prophecy. Why? Because God has to lead these other nations over. So the Lord had to build him up. Mm -hmm. He has to build him up. Remember the Lord said he sways the king's heart like what? A river to do what? Fulfilled Bible prophecy. So when they tried to go into Russia with World War II, because remember the Nazis, you understand, were their enemies. Who's their enemies right now? In Ukraine? The Nazis. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys and gals don't know this, the last four prime ministers that reside right now in Israel, they're from Ukraine. And so they're called Ashkenazi. So you do the math. So saying that, these people have been trying to get there so that they can tort Bible prophecy because they know that Russia has to bring these armies over. And they know that if they could, they felt like if they can tort it, they can stop it. World War II, they tried to do it, didn't they? What happened? What happened? 
They were frozen out. The Lord brought a snowstorm. It's deep. Iran, 1972, the Iran-Contra scandal. Did we not try to go into Iran? But isn't, isn't Iran the Persians? Those are the ones who are supposed to be bringing the ships to Tarshish? These are the ones supposed to be giving us gold and silver? These are the ones who arrows going to fly straight as a bow and will not miss, as the scriptures say? They tried to go in, and what happened? A dust storm swallowed up all the helicopters. Mm -hmm. You cannot stop biblical prophecy. And right now, the Lord is getting ready to gather his children. He's getting ready to take us from the four corners of the earth to the outermost parts where we've been scattered. Folks, this is beautiful. Enoch talked about it. Amos talked about it. Um, Joel talks about it. All these prophets talked about these times. We're actually living in them and we're seeing it. This is not time for Israel to be afraid. This is time for you to get your soul right. That's right. This is where you should be right now. You should be getting your soul right because your soul is going to be judged. Everything you do is going to be judged. Now, your flesh is what's going to be judged. But who's going to go out and testify against you? So, guy, who, what will it be? Your spirit. Your spirit is going to come out and testify everything you're doing. So right now, we need to get our spirits right. We need to make sure that we're studying to show ourselves to be approved. Because when Yeshua comes back like a thief in the night, you do not want to be what, Sister Micaiah? You don't want to be found wanting. You don't want to be found wanting. All praises to the Most High. And so that's why right now we're reading, we're getting our lamps full. You see, when you study to show yourself to be approved, that's when you get your belt. That's when you get your breastplate. That's when you get your, your ephod. This is when you get your covering. This is why he says in order to get in the kingdom, you got to have what? Faith. Faith coming by hearing and hearing come by what? The word. Yes. You got to get this word in you. You can't just rely on everybody else reading it to you. Exactly. What happens when people keep reading it or read for themselves, Sister Micaiah? Well, you have situations like we see in religion. People mm -hmm. are like, what do we believe again? <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Give them disclosure folks, about folks us. don't even know what they believe. Give them, what, give them a disclosure about okay. us. We're not, we can, give it to them. I see the, the question. Go ahead. Up. We are not a religion. No. We are not a part of any no. organized religion. No. All organized religion is a part of the Catholic Church. How much of Whether it is? All of it. All of including it. Including Islam. The way okay? my wife said, all of it with the jersey. <laughs> all of it. All of it is part of the Roman Catholic Church. All of it. <laughs> including Islam. Okay. Well, we including just. Including Nation of Islam. And we found out that that was started by the Roman Catholic Church. Come on. They, they funded Prophet Muhammad. Do your own research. Do your own research and find out for yourself. So, it's, it's easy to find out. I got a video. Did Jesus live? It shows the difference between Jesus and Yeshua. But that video also goes to Ignitus Iotis, how he went into a cave and he got he saw a snake creature with, with eyes on it. Same thing happened to Prophet Muhammad. He went into a cave. He saw a creature with eyes. And one came out with Christianity. They came One came out with being the And Muslim. both were serpent-like spirits. And both were what spirits? Serpent-like spirits. And what, what animal did not want to bow down to Adam? The serpent. What do we call what? Sheep, right? What animal on earth is immune to serpent's venom? Mm, sheep. The sheep. Blood. We are. Come on now. Sheep's blood is totally immune to snake's venom. And the snake ven the snake has been coming at us since, since Yeshua left this earth. It's been coming at us since Jacob had babies. But the snake can't do nothing to Jacob's children. Why? Because we have immortal blood. We have blood that is immune to snake's venom. Unless you subject yourself to him. No, unless that's the that's the other piece because isn't that how Adam and Eve fell? They well, subjected yes. themselves to him. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. to beguile. To where it says Satan yes. beguiled Eve. Yes. If you look that look word up, up, what does it mean? In the strong part of that definition is to put in debt. To put in what? In debt. We've been in we've been put in debt for a long time. That's what I use as cattle as going him. This is why Psalms 83 verse 1, it says they were confederate against thee. They were confederate so they can keep. What did the Pharaoh do? What in the first Egypt we was in, the first captivity? What did they do? They kept us poor. Why? If they can keep us poor and don't give us our 40 acres and our mule, what happens? We cannot build our system up. We can't build a society. Remember what we did in Black Wall Street? Didn't work well for us, did it? Huh? Remember Lake Lanier? That whole town was a town that was self-sufficient. That town was people who had their own train stations, their own railroads. They had their own. Everything was self-sufficient. Every time Jacobites set up a community and become self-sufficient and start sharing amongst each other, guess what happens? They come in and the Pharaoh makes sure that we do not get a shekel or goyim or cattle or anything they that can build us. They tear it up. They tear it up. 
Why? Because they know once we come together, they cannot come and tear it apart. And so that's something they cannot have. They cannot make money off of us if we come together. And so this is why we got a site. Uh, is that site not ready yet? Not yet. It's not ready yet. Okay, we got a site. It's called it's uh, Global. Soon, though, real soon. Well, it'll be probably next week we should have it. Global yeah. Black Business Trade, is it? Is um, that the title, right? Black Black Business Directory. That's well, what it is. But, but the, okay. the website, uh, I can't remember. It's Global right um, Black Business Trade, but we'll get it right. Yeah. But we've already got the site set up. We're bringing it back out so we can barter and trade amongst each other. And what we'll do is all you know minorities can get on there, put your business in. Even if you don't have a business, if you're selling clothes or something like that, if you want to barter and trade, if we want to go ahead and just deal amongst you, because this is how we built wealth before. We dealt with each other. Yeah. Now, every time, to withdraw ourselves. yeah, we got to withdraw from this, this thing that they got where they've been using us so much. I'm tired of being cattle. I'm tired of being Goya. I'm tired of my people always begging for crumbs. You understand why when Yeshua said it's not meat for me to give, give, give this word to, 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 to Gentiles and, and Goya. And what did the lady say? She said, master, even, even the, crumb, she said, even a dog take the crumbs from a master's table. See, he doesn't want us to have the crumbs. He wants us to have the meat. And that's why we got to come together so we can get the meat. Because we're not supposed to be on crumbs. We are a holy people. We're a nation of kings and priests. And when the Holy Spirit rests on us, just like it did with Yeshua, when he raised up out of the water, the Lord said, this is my son whom I'm well pleased. You understand? And then when he said that, guess what happened? The Holy Spirit rested on him like a dove. That's what happens when we study to show up self to be approved. We are the third temple. We are the seven church of Ephesus remnant. So when the Holy Spirit rests in us, now not only we're a king, a priest, we become what? Prophets. We become prophets just like Yeshua. We become under the order of Melchizedek. That means it will never end. Why? Because under Levitical priesthood, it, it ends at, 20, at 50 years old. You retire. But under the order of Melchizedek, it never ends. It's an eternal order. That's from who? The Most High. And that's why he says that we are going to be a nation of kings, priests, and prophets under the order of Melchizedek, just like Shem, who was king of Salem, just like Abraham. I can go over that again. There's a long list of men who were kings, priests, and prophets, but now he's making a whole nation that way. So now it's time for us to wake up. Yeah. So, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Say a prayer. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Heavenly Father, heaven, blessed be you, Adonai Yahuwah. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for waking your children in these times. Abba, you said in the latter days that you would pour out your spirit on us more than the former days, Father. Thank you so much for pouring it out heavy on us. To the point, Heavenly Father, we're embarrassed at who we used to be. I pray, Heavenly Father, as we go through this lesson, that some of these things click with the people here, Father, your children, and also your handmaids and servants. I pray, Heavenly Father, and I always ask, Heavenly Father, when we're here, can you please heal any sickness that's going on amongst the congregation? I pray, Heavenly Father, can you heal and hold and bind all these demons that are coming at our people, Father? Take them and cast them into prison. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your love that you show only to your children, Father. But I pray, Heavenly Father, as you say in the latter days, you'll soar to the handmaids and servants. I pray that you pour it out liberally, Father. I pray, Heavenly Father that you bless Yeshua. He's our king and our priest, the anointed. Thank you so much, Yeshua, for just being a sacrifice for us. Thank you so much for shedding your blood for us. Thank you so much for leaving the Holy Spirit in this earth for 3,000 years so that we can be quickened by it. Thank you so much for chastising us when we do wrong. Thank you so much for lifting us up when we fall. I pray, Heavenly Father, as we read and study, that you fill our vessel with oil. I pray, Heavenly Father, when it's filled, that you light that wick, Father. I pray these things so we could be seen, not only in your eyes, but in your son's eyes when he come back. Blessed be you and bless the kingdom. Bless all, Heavenly Father, that you anoint. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you please forgive us, all of us, for our sins. For we've been trespassers against you. And we've done it out of ignorance, not knowing our right or our left, just like the children of Nineveh, Father. But just as you forgave them, I pray that you please forgive us. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you put the anointing that only you can put on us. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you forgive our forefathers of their sins, because if they wouldn't have sinned, we would not be in the predicament that we're in. I pray, Heavenly Father, for the kingdom to come and let your will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. I pray that you bless that holy land, Zion, and I pray that we're all there at that wedding party, raising our hands unceasingly with palm branches, raising them, and I cannot, I cannot wait, Heavenly Father, and I pray that I'm not falling short. I pray that none of us fall short, Father. I pray that we can get in the gate. We don't have to be have a certain position or certain power, Heavenly Father. We just want to make it in. Please, Father, forgive us and we repent of all our sins that we've done towards you. I pray these things and ask that you please bless us, bless the holy house of Israel, and bless all the handmaids and servants. I pray these things in the name of your son, our king, and our priest. Yeshua, I pray. Amen. Amen. All praise to the Most High. All praises. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the comments here so we can have a little peace. And these nations don't come in and try to disturb us like they do. All praises to the Most High. Let's see here. Settings. Um, comment settings. Let's go ahead and turn those off. Okay, cool beans. And we can get a little less in there. Uh -huh. All right. So last time we were reading Enoch, um, we're going to go ahead and start at chapter 77 in the book of Enoch. We're going to read a little bit, and then I'll end up segueing and reading a little bit also from the War Scrolls. What are the War Scrolls? Now, the War Scrolls are the sons of light against the sons of darkness. This is actually Jacob's children. It says in the latter days, they're going to do battle against who? Tyre, or Rome and also Edom, the Edomites, the ones who have us in their captivity. Who are they? They are what you would call the 10 European nations, the 10 toes that Daniel talked about. What? Who are we? We are the Mari clay that's in the middle of those toes. And it, not only us, but the other nations who they do what? They milk, they take every dime. Book of Obadiah said, if the grape gathers came, would they not leave you some grapes? If a man robbed your house, would he not leave you something? How of the ways of Esau or Edom thought out? They leave you nothing. But you know what? They don't have to give us anything. Because the Lord right now, he's coming back to take it, not by force, not by might, but he's going to take this with the spirit. And that's what he's doing right now as we speak. Can y'all not see it? Do y'all not see how he's tearing down these kingdoms? Sure. Hmm? What do you say? They say we'll tear it down, but they're going to do what? They say we're going to rebuild. And then what does he say he's going to he do? He comes and tears it back down. He's going to tear it down again. I mean, huh? Ooh. They can build Blood, all day long, all they tornadoes, want. Tornadoes, fire. You know, even, you know, they try to take credit for things. Did you guys see Dubai? Dubai was hit with torrential storms over and over. So they'll say they've been seeding the clouds and seeding the clouds and the clouds. Wait a minute. They've been seeding the clouds for years and ain't nothing happened. The Lord is bringing this because this is the time of judgment. Dubai is a place that land belongs to Israel. That is our land. They took that land a long time ago along with the other lands over there. Just like Saudi Arabia, they took it. This is why the Lord is hitting them right now as we speak, because those lands are not theirs. And so he's showing them that I'm doing this not by force, not by might, but with a spirit, I'm going to break you down. So you got all your wealth. Everybody's looking at you building your towers in the sky because you like to put your nest on what? On high in the mountain clefts. This is why they try to build the highest buildings possible. Matter of fact, Dubai has the highest building in the world. So when they do these things, mm -hmm. the Lord said, I'm going to tear you down. Yes. You're taking my children's wealth, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you build your cities. I'm going to let you do this. But guess who's going to inhabit them? My children. All y'all doing is building for us. Look at all the cities China has. They built a lot of cities over there, haven't they? Yeah. Nobody's in them. Why? They got an agenda. They thought that they're going to go ahead and create a one world order with these, these so-called miracle medicines. Then the people that are left, they're going to fill those cities. But they know not the way of the Most High. They have no clue. Sure don't. They have no clue. We're reading the book of Enoch. Um, I'm in chapter 77. We're going to start at 77. We stopped at 76 the last time. So mm -hmm. this is going into mm -hmm. still um, touring the, the luminaries, the heavens, the right. things that's going on in the heavens. Right. Enoch was a Enoch is who all the prophets spoke about. Abraham talked about Enoch's writing. All the prophets talked about it. You understand? Enoch is a prophetic man who saw he was so righteous on earth. Remember, the angels not tested like us, folks. Remember that. So since Enoch was tested on earth and he surpassed man because he was so righteous, the Lord went ahead and he translated him. He never died. He ended up going into the heavens and became over. He became a ruler over the angels. And this is what we're going to be. That's why the Lord says that the angels were made to do what? To serve us. And that's what everyone has to understand. But people will start worshiping the angels as gods. Mm -hmm. When the Lord, didn't Yeshua say, didn't I say you're gods? 
but you're going to worship something that the Lord said is supposed to serve us, which are the angels. So this is why Enoch was put above them. That's what the word minister actually means. Yeah, it means to serve. serve, right? It means to serve. All praises. Chapter 7, 7 says, the first wind is called the Eastern because it is first. And I think that's ironic because when you learn that the eclipse came over America, when? From the east and it, land, it went where? To the west is where it rested. So the sun comes up in the east. This is where you always hear this. So America, actually, when you see the sun rise, it rises here in the east. This is not the west. When you read the old books, and I've said this before, any book before the 15th century, know that this is the east. And this is the first piece of land that started, that came out of the wars. I told everybody here to get a book. America, the true old is the true old world. Get that book so you have an understanding of the geography, the land masses, and what is truly going on and how you've been lied to. Isn't there four sets of books in there? There's four, but I've only been able to see two. If anybody can, if somebody give a message, if you know where to get the third, fourth, and fifth, because it's supposed to be five volumes, let me know. I've only seen two volumes on Amazon. So it's pretty, so we'll, we'll see. Let's keep reading. It says, the second is called the South because El Elyon, there descends a, and frequently their descends is blessed forever. The Western wind has name, has, has the name of demination because they're, because there, the luminaries of heaven are diminished. So what is that saying, Sister Makai? So when they go to the West, they're what? It says the Western wind has the name of demunition. Right. Because they're all the luminaries of heaven are diminished. And I believe and that's. And descend. Mm -hmm. So you know how they mm -hmm. say the sun rises in the, in the east, east and sets in, in the, the west. west. Exactly what it means. Mm -hmm. And that's why we just saw the eclipse come over from the east and it didn't set where? In the west. It says the fourth wind, which is named the north, is divided into three parts, one of which is for the habitation of man, another for the seas of water, with valleys, wood, rivers, and shady places, and snow, and a third part, paradise. Seven how mountains I beheld higher than all the mountains of the earth, from which frost proceeds, while days and seasons and years depart and pass away. Seven rivers I beheld upon the earth greater than all the rivers, one which takes its course from the west and through the great sea it flo its water flows. Two comes from the north to the sea, their waters flowing into the Erythrean Sea on the east, and with, re and with respect to the remaining four, they take their course in the captivity of the north. Cavity. Two, the cavity of the north, two to their, two to their sea, the Erythrean Sea, and two are poured into the Great Sea, where also it is said is a desert. Seven great islands I saw in the sea, and on the earth seven in the great sea. 78. It says the names of the sun are these, the one Arrhaeus, the other Thomas. So these are names. What are these, Sister Micaiah? The names of different names of the sun. These are just different names of the sun. The names of the sun, go ahead and read that 78. Go ahead and read. I'll let you go ahead and read. Right. Read it in red. Go ahead. Enoch 78, verse 2. The moon has four names. Mm -hmm. The first is Asanya, mm -hmm. the second, Ebla, the third, Benes, and the fourth, Ere. These are the two great luminaries whose orbs are as the orbs of heaven, and the dimensions of both are equal. In the orb of the sun are seven parts of light, which are added to it more than to the moon. By measure, it is put in until the seventh portion of the sun is departed. Yes. They set, enter into the western gate, circuit by the north, and through the eastern gate go forth over the face of heaven. So this, the earth does not rotate around the sun. The sun goes through portals. I want everybody to understand this. So this is good because Enoch explains this. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 5. It says, when the moon rises, it appears in heaven, and the half of a seventh portion of light is all in it. In 14, the whole of its light is completed. Mm -hmm. Three quintuples light is put into it until 15 its light is completed. So that's the 15th day? Um, I think I this, think what it this is talking about. Is this days. talking about days? It's talking about how light is measured out into them. Into the parts. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
It says, according to the signs of the year, it has three quintuples. Mm -hmm. The moon has the half of a seventh portion. Mm -hmm. During its diminution on the first day, its light decreases a 14th part. Okay, so yeah, it's breaking it's, it down it's in here. In the days, yes. Yeah, talking about the days. Go ahead. That's what on the about. second day, it decreases a 13th yeah. part. On the third day, a 12th part. On the fourth day, an 11th part. That's on the fifth day, yeah. a 10th part. There you go. On the sixth day, a ninth part. On the seventh day, it decreases an eighth part. So he's telling you exactly how it works. This is the moon, right? This is why they took this out right? of here. Because it yeah. totally Explains exposes the lies, lies we are taught in yes. school. Totally exposes all the lies. Go ahead. All right. It says, on the fifth day, a tenth part. On the sixth day, a ninth part. On the seventh day, it decreases an eighth part. On the eighth day, it decreases a seventh part. On the ninth day, it decreases a sixth part. On the tenth day, it decreases a fifth part. Yes. On the eleventh day, it decreases a fourth part. On the twelfth day, it decreases third part. On the thirteenth day, it decreases a second part. On the fourteenth day, it decreases a half of its seventh part. And on the 15th day, the whole remainder of his light is consumed. Okay. So this is why science can't teach you anything. Science tells you the total opposite of what we're reading. That's why the Lord say there'll be science or falsely so-called in 2 Timothy. Mm -hmm. There's no true science. Hypotheses, a theory, six experiments, and that's a fact. Everything they tell you today is just on hypotheses and a theory with no facts. Someone's opinion. <clears throat> Their opinion. That's what the Talmud is based on. Someone's opinion, but it's not based on anything that's written in scripture. Go ahead. We're on Enoch chapter 78, <clears throat> verse 10. It says, on stated months, the moon has 29 days. It also has a period of 28 days. Come on now. Uriel, likewise, showed me another regulation. So you got Uriel showing him all of this. So you got an angel taking him through different areas. Go ahead. Uriel, likewise, showed me another regulation. When light is poured into the moon. It's what? Into the, what is light done? It's poured So into light is poured the into the moon. Go ahead. How it is poured into it from the sun. Where does light come from? From the sun. So the Lord takes the light from the sun and he pours it into the moon. Go ahead and read. 13. All the, all the time that the moon is in progress with this light, it is poured in the presence of the sun until light is in 14 days completed in heaven. Yes. And when it is wholly extinguished, its light is consumed in heaven. And on the first day, it is called the new moon. Or Nisan. That's what it's called. New moon or Nisan. Go ahead. And also, new moon is used as new month. Mm -hmm. That's says, what it is. Uh -huh. We would always use the new moon at the beginning of a new month. Mm -hmm. This is how we did our calendars, folks. This is how we did them. Go ahead. For on that day, light is received into it. It becomes precisely completed on the day that the sun descends into the west while the moon ascends at night from the east. Yes. The moon then shines all the night until the sun rises before it when the moon disappears in turn before the sun. Yes. Where light comes to the moon, there again it decreases until all its light is extinguished and the days of the moon pass away. Yes. Then this orb remains solitary without light. Yes. During three months, it affects in 30 days its period. And during three months, it affects it in 29 days each. In which it affects its decrease in its first period. And in the first gate in 177 days. And at the time of its going forth during three months, it appears 30 days each. Yes. And during three months, it appears 29 days each. You see how the Lord is breaking this down? Enoch, he gave it to Enoch to break this down exactly how the moon operates. Go ahead. In the night, it appears for each 20 as a man. And in the day as heaven, for it is nothing else except its light. Now, some, yes. something in yes. here, though, I mm -hmm. want to point out because... We know that we had 13 months right. in a year. Right. Right. Not um not 12. Not 12. Not 12, right. right. And so and that's what so, Enoch told us. Yes. 13 months with 28 day cycle. We're reading this. Right. Which but gives you 364 for, days. For Go it ahead. to say that mm -hmm. some months it appears 30 days each. Right. 
like three months, it appears 30 days each month. Mm -hmm. That must be an interjection then. Well, it, it probably is an interjection, but the thing is, is that the way they broke the days down, um, everything has been changed and what they want to do is kind of line it up with them. Right. So, but Enoch told us straight away it was 364 days in a year. Exactly. So that only breaks down to 13 months, which is a total of 28 days per month. Right. So but what it is, is some, this stuff. But some months, remember what they're saying is some months, mm -hmm. some months are going to take the, um, will take those days where it's actually, it'll balance out the 364. The way the way the Lord did these, the way He broke it down. So, and then now in right. these times, right. things are out of order way because out of order. Gregorian calendar. A lot of times we see the yeah. moon at the during the day. Right, the moon right. is shining right. with the sun. Yeah. So a lot of things that were told to us have been untold and undone with indoctrination, and they gave us science or Mother Nature or evolution. That's one of the things they really push. Seventy nine. And now, my son, Methuselah, I have shown you everything because Enoch is telling his son now. Remember, Methuselah became king, priest, and prophet after Enoch left the earth. He became under the order of Melchizedek. So that's why he's telling him everything that he saw. And now, my son, Methuselah, I have shown you everything and every ordinance of the stars of heaven is finished. He showed me every ordinance respecting these, which is at all times and all seasons under every influence. In all years at their arrival and under the rule of each, doing every month and every week. Also, the, de the decrease of the moon, which is affected in the sixth gate, for in the sixth gate is, is his lights consumed. From this is the beginning of the month, and its decrease is affected in the sixth gate, and its period until 177 days are completed according to the mode of the circulation by weeks, 25 and two days. It is less than that of the sun, according to ordinance of the stars, by five days in one time, precisely. When, the, when that is visible, situ, it says, when that visible situation is completed, such is the appearance of, and likeness of every luminary, which Uriel, the great angel who conducted them, showed to me. In those days, this is verse, this is the book of Enoch, chapter 80. In those days, Uriel answered and said to me, Behold, I have showed you all things, O Enoch, and all things have I revealed to you. You see the sun, the moon, and those which conduct the stars of heaven, which cause all their operations, seasons, and arrivals to return. In the days of the sinners, get this, in the days of, the, of sinners, the years shall be shortened. Their seed shall be backwards, and their and prolific soil. And get this: their seed shall be backwards, and their pro, prolific soil. And everything done on earth shall be subverted and disappear in its seasons. The rain shall be restrained, and the heavens shall stand still. In those days, the fruits of the earth shall be late and not flourish in their seasons. And in their seasons, the fruits of the trees shall be withered, shall be withheld. Verse 6, the moon shall change its laws and not be seen in its proper period. And those days shall heaven be seen, and the, and the barrenness shall take place in the borders of the great chariots in the west. It shall shine more than the orders of light, while many chiefs among the stars in authority shall err, perverting their way and their works. Those shall not appear in their seasons who commanded them and all the classes of the stars shall be shut up against sinners. And the thoughts of these who dwell on the earth shall transgress within them, and they shall be perverted in all their ways. Is that not what's going on right now? Mm -hmm. Are not man right now perverted? And not some of their ways, but what? All their ways have been perverted. It says here, And the thoughts of those who dwell on the earth shall transgress within them, and they shall be perverted in all their ways. All right, Book of Enoch, chapter 80, verse 9. And they shall transgress and think themselves Elohims, while evil shall be multiplied among them. They shall think themselves to be what? Gods. They're going to think themselves to be gods. They're going to think they are equal with the Most High. Get this. It's, and the punishment shall come upon them, so that all of them shall be destroyed. And this is what's going on right now. The Lord is taking all these haughty men. The ones. This is why you keep thinking, you keep telling us, don't become puffed up. 
always to be what? Meek. Because the ones who are going to be destroyed are the ones who become proud, boastful. And they always say, well, ain't no God. He's taking forever. You know, if there's a God, where is he? These are the ones who are going to be destroyed. And then they start thinking that they're gods. How many times have we went to hospitals and, you know, we see doctors who think they're what? They do. They think, think they're, they're gods. gods. They don't believe They don't God. believe. They believe no. they are God. That is how they think. But right. notice here right. how... Basically, mm -hmm. the state of man being mm -hmm. so sinful has thrown all of nature off course. Even Everything. The heavenly luminaries. That's a great point. I mean, people don't understand the seriousness of that point. And the right reason there. being is because he said that he, when he created us, he created us to do what? To subdue the earth and to rule it. And so when we became out of order, the earth became out of order. You understand? Because if the master is not right, how can the creature be right? And this is what's going on right now. 81. What did the Bible say? The whole head is sick. The whole head is sick. Not some of it, but what? The whole head. All praises. 81. Go ahead, Sister McKay. All right. Enoch chapter 81, verse 1. He said, O Tanakh, look on the cipher, the sepher of the tablets of heaven. Yes. Which have gradually dropped down. Come on. And reading that which is written in it, understand every part of it. Yeah. See? So there yeah. are heavenly Seven. tablets Come on. you all. That drop where? From the heavens. <laughs> he, he dropped them this down is spiritual. For Enoch to it was read spiritual. Now. Go ahead, read. Verse two. Then I looked on all which was written and understood all, reading the cipher, the sephir, and everything written in it. What are we reading right now? Man. We're reading the sephir. This is the writings right here. These are the holy writings that came down for us to get that was inspired. By the Most High through the prophets. To but get look to what us. he said was Keep in reading. it. He said everything Read. written in it, all the works of man. Some of the works. It says all the works of man. Come Remember on. how many Come times on. have we told y'all yes. that everything you do, you're gonna be judged say by. Think is recorded in these heavenly tablets. The angels are like back then. The angels are writing down everything you do. When you think you're getting away with it, when you're um, on the computer in the dark. When you think you're out and about looking at things and doing things you shouldn't, when you're saying things out of your mouth to people because you just want to fit in, hmm. you want to fit in. So you're saying things you know you shouldn't say. And then all of a sudden you'll be judged for it. It's all being recorded. It's all being recorded when you got people around you who ain't right. But you just want to, you know, you don't want to be by yourself. You know, I don't want my family ostracized. Did he not say you'll lose mother, brothers, sisters, and cousins for my namesake? Everything you do is being recorded. Go ahead, Sister McKayan. All right, verse three. And of all the children of flesh upon earth during the generations of the world. Yes. Immediately after I bless Yahuwah, the king of glory, who has thus forever formed the whole workmanship of the world. Yes. And I glorified Yahuwah on account of his long suffering and blessing towards the children of the world. So it's what, his long what? Suffering. He's been, it's a long time. He's, he's been, been very so, patient. He's been very patient with us. Go ahead. Verse six, Enoch 81, verse six. At that time, I said, blessed is the man who shall die righteous and good against whom no catalog of crime has been written. Wow. No catalog. And of crime. with whom iniquity is not found. He says a catalog of crime. Man, there's people around here got catalogs of nothing but all their crimes. That's right. It's like a long list, long list over yeah. and over again. Why? Because my people perish for, for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. He said, what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. First John 3 and 4, for transgression of the law is sin. So since you thought the laws were done away with, you got a catalog of sin that's been Come written on. against you. It's a heavenly you know? court But that's now. what these judges, this is what these preachers taught us. This is what the Catholic Church taught us. This is what your theology taught you. The doctrine of what? Men. Come on. Go ahead. Verse 7. Uh, Enoch 81, verse 7. Then those three holy ones caused me to approach and place me on the earth before the door of my house. Yes. And they said unto me, explain everything to Methuselah, your son, and inform all your children that no flesh shall be justified before Yahuwah, Come on. for he is their creator. Come on. Understand not, that flesh on. has already, already been, been judged. judged. That's why he say effeminates, liars, adulterers, fornicators. He say none of you'll be getting the what? The kingdom. Come on. That's why he said I'm gonna judge you with the sword of my what? Mouth. If my word is said it, it shall come to pass. And I'm gonna cut you like a sword on judgment day. 
Yeah. I told you, you do this, this, and this, you'll live. I told you, you do this and this, you're going to die. But you started listening to these men because they took one precept, ran with it. Oh, you can eat whatever you want to eat. You can eat pig. You can eat pork. Don't worry about it. But did I not tell you? Did not Isaiah tell you in Isaiah 66 that I'm coming with an anger and a fury with a sword? And I'm going to cut those who are eating swine flesh, swine flesh mixed with the mouse and the abomination of? My prophet told you I'm going to kill you if you're eating these things. But you don't want to listen to me. You want to make arm your flesh. And so from the empty, empty, and from the full, full. And since you've been empty, there's nothing that I can give you because your lamp has nothing in it. This is deep. Not only that, look at what Paul, Paul wrote right. out for us. Everything. The very one that everybody yeah. is trying to discredit. There's so many are trying to discredit. Yeah. I'm not going to say everybody. Galatians 5. He, goes he through, lists yeah. out what the works of the flesh yeah. are. The yeah. things that have already been judged. The very things that they put people that yeah. look like us right. up on media. They yeah. promote, push and promote every, every single, single work of the flesh because to get us to sin. And my wife hit it on the head. <laughs> Because if you can defile Jacob's children, Come on. that means they can stay in power longer. So that's why they teach us all the abominable things. They yeah. even tell you that pig is the other white meat. They tell you that lobster is a delicacy. Right. When the Lord says a roach, he says it's a bug. Come on. Come on. Let's keep going. All Check, right. You know, verse I'm nine. Gonna, okay. Verse nine. It says, during one year, we shall leave you with your children until you shall again recover your strength that you may instruct your family. Yes. Write these things and explain them to all your children. Yes. But in another year, they shall take you from the midst of them and your heart shall be strengthened for the elect shall point out righteousness to the elect. The elect going to do what? Point out righteousness to the elect. So the elect who the Lord chose, who is his elect? Israel, the 12 tribes. Yes. He calls us his saints. Saints mean what? Set apart. Yes. These are the ones who are going to minister to who? The other elect. Yes. How can these other nations give you this word when it wasn't given to them? How can they teach you in the spirit was what not given to them spiritually? Come Did not on. Yeshua say, go out, take no food, no raiment? I don't even want you to put shoes on your feet. He said, he says, as I give it freely, you give it freely. But I only want you to go to what? The house of Israel. Yes. The elect. Yes. I want you to minister to them, but they got to minister to the other elect. This is what we're doing right now. Let's keep going. Oh, praises. I'm still on verse 9. Go Enoch ahead. chapter 81, verse 9. Oh, it praises. Says, the righteous with the righteous shall rejoice. The righteous with the what will rejoice? With the righteous Not with shall the sinners. Rejoice. Not with sinners. Everybody, well, he he don't care about the sinner. We all sin. The, the right. Lord said he hates sinners. Mm -hmm. He said the sinners are already judged. That's You've been right. judged by the word. Come he on. said the righteous shall rejoice with the righteous. Yes. That's why he say in the last days that the righteous is going to see what? All the sinners leave the earth. He's going to say we're going to watch it. He's going to cleanse this earth of all sinners. He's doing it right by now, not by force, not by might, but he's doing it with his spirit. Yes. And he's gathering the host of the armies up for the great battle of Armageddon, the feast of birds. And when he does that, he's going to pluck us out of the middle of that fire. Keep reading, please. I'm still on verse 9. Oh, praise Enoch chapter 81, verse 9. It says, congratulating each other but the sinners with sinners yes. shall die. Yes. And this is that separation too of wheat and tares. It's happening. But right now we got a lot, a lot of liberal minded people. The liberal minded people say anything goes. That's them so their minds have been what? Perverted. Yes. Read next sex with please. All right. Enoch 81 verse 10. Come on. And the perverted with the perverted the per shall be drowned. They're going to be what? Drown. How are they going to drown? What is the word? Mm. Living waters. Yes. That word going to drown them. Did he not say his deep fountains? My goodness. He's going to drown them with this word. Mm. Just think on. about Come that. Come on. He's going to drown them. On one them. hand, it's making us clean. Come on. And on the other, it's drowning them devils. Then Peter, My goodness. Then Peter, because lack of faith, what did he start oh. doing? He started sinking in the water. He would have drowned if he didn't walk righteously, mm. if he didn't have faith. His faith pulled him back up out of that water so he did not My drown. My goodness. Man, this is spiritual and this is carnal. When you read this word, I want y'all to get this. This is carnal as far as Old Testament, but it's also spiritual with the New Covenant, which is New Testament. It's twofold. This is deep. Go oh, ahead. Praise it. And when All you right. walk right with the Holy Spirit, it's threefold. Yes. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you're one. Cord, become, it's not easy it cannot easily be broken. Hallelujah. Verse 10. 
Enoch 81, 11. verse 11. Those likewise who act righteously shall die on account of the works of man and shall be gathered together on account of the works of the wicked. Yes. In those days, they finished conversing with me. Yes. And I return to my fellow men, blessing Yahuwah of worlds. All oh, praises. Verse 82, the book of Enoch, chapter 82. Now, my son, Methuselah, all these things I spoke to you and write for you. To you I have revealed all and have given you a cipher of everything. Preserve my son Methuselah, the cipher, the written, but it says written by your father, that you may reveal them to future generations. Mm. And see, we are the future generation That's that he was right. talking about. It says, Wisdom have I given you to your children and to your prosperity that they may re reveal to their children for generations forever this wisdom in their thoughts that they that those who comprehend may not slumber but hear the hear with their ears and they may learn this wisdom and be deemed worthy of eating wholesome food come on wait now. a minute wait a minute so he says those who are found worthy they're going to be seen deal, they, uh, eating what what do you say wholesome, wholesome food so what is the wholesome food it's righteousness it's righteousness it's this word it's that living manna that's what it is. And His word things, is that manner. Yeah. Things spiritually also manifest themselves physically. So you taking in spiritual food, yes. you're not going to have a desire for the things the Most High said, don't eat. And then he says they're eating, he says they're deemed worthy because they're eating wholesome food. That's right. Now that's also physical because yes. he told us Leviticus 11 straightway what to eat, which was wholesome food. Right. That nourishes your body. Unwholesome food does what? It tears your body up. You have disease and, it keeps and sickness. Your spirit lifted and you, when you're you eating wholesome. And, and if you're not eating wholesome, and if your body is not right, how can Holy Spirit come into that temple? You are what you eat. You're defiled. So I'm asking you a question. Didn't the Lord not say you cannot serve two masters? That's right. You're going to love one or what? Hate the other. That's right. So how can you have evil in you and think wholesomeness is going to uh, prevail? Bring it out. It ain't going to never work. You can't have one and think you're going to get the other. Mm. You're going to sink in that water. Come on. Verse four, blessed are all the righteous. Blessed are all who walk in righteousness in whom no, whom, and whom is no crime as in sinners when all their days are numbered. Verse five, this is the book of Enoch, chapter 82, verse five. With respect to the progress of the sun in heaven, it enters and goes out of the gate 30 days. With the leaders of with the leaders of a thousand classes of stars, with four which are added, and their apparition appertain. and, appert, and and appertain to the four quarters of the year, which conduct them and accompany them at four periods. Respecting these, men greatly error, and do not calculate them in the calculation of every age, for they are greatly error respecting them. Nor do men know accurately that they are in the in the calculation of the year, but indeed these are marked down forever: one in the first gate, one in the third, and one in the fourth, and one in the sixth, so that the year is completed in three hundred and sixty-four what days? See, this is there what I was telling is, you right about. There. So it's three hundred and sixty-four days. The way he does the cycles, it ends up being three hundred and sixty-four days. That's why we had a thirteen-month calendar when we ruled with twenty-eight day cycle. You add it up, it's 364 days. And see, this is goes back to what we were saying before, right. how anytime the, the uh, mm. Catholics or people have added to this right. book, it stands out like a But But you can thumb. go ahead and read precept by precept, line by line, and now you get the meat and throw exactly. out the bones. Exactly. Verse 8, it says, truly it says, truly has been stated and accurately has been calculated, that which is marked down. For the luminaries, the months are fixed periods, the years and the days. Uriel has explained to me the communicate explained to me and communicated to me, whom Yahuwah of all creation on my account commanded according to the might of heaven and the power which is possessed by both night and by day, to explain light to man of the sun, the moon, and the stars, and of all the powers of heaven, which are turned with their respective orbs. One moment here. One second here, folks. I don't know why this thing does that. All praises. No. Verse 9. This is the ordinance of the stars, which set in their places, in their seasons, and in their periods, and in their days, and in their months. 
Verse, you know, it's interesting uh-huh. to me too, even mm-hmm. how the prophecy about men erring right. in With the, the, the days. calculation. And that's where we're at. It's not interesting. It's a fact that the prophets told us. Yes. It's, and it's beautiful because he told us that we'll be erring. That's why a lot of people say, are we doing Passover right? Are we doing this right? We're doing that. Didn't he not say they're going to change time, dates, months, and seasons? Nobody's doing things right. But you know what you're doing right? You're doing it in the spirit because we're in a spiritual covenant now. It's not about the carnal where you had to do it on this day, that day, and you had to be accurate. You had to come, you were judged by it. That's why Yeshua said, let no man judge you by Sabbaths or holy days. Why? Because nobody's doing it right. But through his grace, do you get to repent and him come to give you salvation? We're under the law of liberty. So now we need to do it the best we can. But he judges us according to our what? Ways. Yes. He knows every hair on your head. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Jeremiah 14 and 1, he says, I knew you before you came out the womb and I sanctified you. He knows exactly what you're thinking. So he knows if you're trying to do it right. He knows if you can't make that, if you got to work on a Saturday and you repenting in your heart because you can't. He knows if you cannot make Passover. He knows if you can't make baptism. Yeshua says he's going to judge you on what? Equity. He's going to weigh you in the balance. Who we at, Sister Micaiah? Verse 10, Enoch 82, verse 10. Okay. These are all the names of those who conduct them to watch the, watch and enter into their seasons according to their ordinance in their periods and in their months and in their, and in their influences and in their stations. The four conductors of them first enter who separate the four quarters of the year. After these, 12 conductors of these classes who separate the months and the year, 364 with the leaders of a thousand who distinguish between the days as well as between the four additional ones, which conductors divide the four quarters of the year. These leaders of the thousand are in the midst of the conductors and the conductors are added each behind his station and their conductors make the separation. These are the names of the conductors who separate the four quarters of the year and who are appointed Melchiel, Himalek, Maliel, and Nariel, and the names of those who conduct them are Andriel, Jazriel, and Jeremiel. These are, th- are the three who follow after the conductors of the classes, each following after, th- after the three conductors of the classes. So these are what? Angels doing this. Y'all see that? Who follow after these. You see that, Sister Micaiah? Okay, I thought it was stars. What, what does it say? Is it stars or is it angels? These are the leaders. No. Verse 5 stars says can't, with the leaders of the thousand classes. These are angels. Stars. Okay. Yeah. You can't. Stars can't lead. All right. Stars can't lead. They just shape shift and have to stay in place. Remember, 10 transgress and they had to sit for a thousand, uh, 10,000 years or so. So this is talking about angels. Okay. How the angels lead right. the, the stars. The angels lead the stars is what this is. Classes of stars. Right. Okay. And this is why you can tell Michael, Nariel, Jeremiel. Right. All the most angels have a yell or, or L, L, the L at the bottom. Name. They have the most high's name on them. So the stars, the angels always have the most high's name for the most part. These are the three who follow after their conductors of the classes, each following after the three conductors of the classes, which themselves follow after these conductors of their stations who divide the four quarters of the year. In the first part of the year rises the rises and rules. Melchias, who is named Tamiai and Zihai, all the days of his influence, which are which he rules, are 91 days. And these are the signs of the days which are seen upon the earth in the days of his influence, pers- <coughs> influence, perspiration. 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 Okay, influence, perspiration, Shalakia. It says heat and trouble. All the trees become fruitful, and the leaf of every tree comes forth. The grain is re- is reaped, and the rose and the rose in every species of flowers blossoms in the field. And the and trees that springtime. that's springtime, yes, that's springtime. And the trees of the winter are dried up. These are the names of the conductors who are under under them: Barkiel, Zasobel, and another additional conductor of the thousand is named Holioff. Holioff. The days of these in influence have been completed. The other conductor, a conductor next after them is Hamalek, 
whose name they called the splendid Zaha, Zahai. All the days of, of his light are 91 days. These are the signs of the days upon the earth, heat and drought, while the trees bring forth their fruit and are warm and, con and, and concocted, 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 and concocted, and give their fruits to the, to the dry. The flocks follow mate and bear young, and the fruits of the earth are collected, and everything in the field and the vines are trodden. These take place during the times of his influence. These are the names and the orders of the conductors who are under them, and those who are chiefs of a thousand. Gladiel, Kellyhel, and the name of the additional leader of a thousand, Asriel, of his influence have been completed. 83, go ahead. Verse one, it says, in, "Go ahead." I'm it says, "And time. now I have shown you, my son Methuselah, every sight which I saw prior to your birth. I will relate another vision which I saw before I was married. They resembled each other. The first was when I was learning a sepher, and the other before I was married to your mother. I saw a potent vision. Yes, and on account of these things, the sought Yahuwah. Yes, I was lying down in the house of my grandfather." Malalel, Malalel, I saw yes. in a vision yes. heaven thrown down and removed. Mm. And when it fell upon the earth, I saw likewise the earth absorbed by a great abyss mm. and mountains suspended over mountains. Mm. Hills were sinking upon hills. Lofty trees were gliding <clears throat> off from their trunks mm. and were in the act of being projected and of sinking into the abyss. Mm. And at these things, the word fell down in my mouth. I cried out and said, what fell down in his mouth? The, the word. word. Go ahead. He says, I cried out and said, the earth is destroyed. <clears throat> then my grandfather, Malalel, raised me up and said to me, why do you thus cry out, my son? And wherefore thus do you lament? I related to him the whole vision which I had seen. He said to me, confirmed is that which you have seen, my mm -hmm. son, and potent the vision of your dream Come on now. respecting every secret sin in the, of the earth. Yes. Its substance shall sink into the abyss. Come on now. So oh, he, his grandfather knew these things. Yes. This is the Lord always anointed these holy people and passed it down through son, through son, through son. This is deep. Understand, this is why now. Yes. The disconnect is mm -hmm. being pushed between the young and the old. Yes. So that the young don't get this generational right, teaching. Right. This is how we forget. Well, sometimes the young gets it and they teach the old, though. So it's nowadays, a separation. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, it's both sides. Because now I'm learning that I'm mm -hmm. seeing a lot of young people teaching the older parents what's going on. But now the parents are going back say, hey, wait a minute. I didn't get it right before. But this is what's going on. But remember, it's a called out assembly. So people got to be called in order to come to the assembly. Go ahead. Verse 8. It's Enoch 83, verse 8. I related to him the whole vision which I had seen. He said to me, confirmed is that which you have seen, my son, and potent the vision of your dream, respecting every secret sin of the earth. Its substance shall sink into the abyss and yeah. a great destruction take place. Yes. Now, my son, rise up and beseech Yahuwah of glory, for you are faithful, yes. that a remnant may be left upon earth and that he would not wholly destroy it. Who's a remnant? We are today. We're the remnant. We're the remnant. This, this is, see, this is talking about our time. This is why Enoch is so important. It's talking about us right now as we speak. Go ahead. My son, all this calamity upon earth comes down from heaven. Upon earth shall there be a great destruction. It comes down from where? Heaven. The Lord is ordaining this, what y'all see. This ain't mother nature. This ain't science. What this is, this is prophecy coming from the Lord being fulfilled. Verse 11. Then I arose, prayed, and entreated, and wrote down my prayer for the generations of the world. Come on. Explaining everything to my son, Methuselah. When I went down below and looking up to heaven, beheld the sun proceeding from the east, the moon descending to the west, yes. a few stars and everything which Elohim has known from the beginning. I blessed Yahuwah of judgment and magnified him yes. because he has sent forth the sun from the windows of the east. So what should we be doing? We should be blessing the most high 
and we should be magnifying him and his what? His holy name. That's right. It's all about his holy name. And, and notice how he called Yahuwah, yes. Yahuwah of judgment. That's what he I is. I have literally seen so many people post uh -huh. that God doesn't judge. What? Like what? God, so, are you talking about? So if you don't judge, then what was the point of making the word? Bring oh. the word, which is the judgment. <laughs> His word is the judgment. Whoever says that. Okay, just like, I'm in the middle of ahead. verse 12. It Go says, ahead. I bless Yahuwah of judgment and magnify him because he has sent forth the sun from the windows of the east that ascending and rising in the face of heaven, it might spring up and pursue the path which has been pointed out to it. Oh, praises. Oh, huh? The book of Enoch, chapter 84. I lifted up my hands in righteousness. This is why we always lift up our hands, you know? He said he did it in what? Righteousness. Oh, praises. And I blessed the holy and great one. I spoke with the breath of my mouth and with the tongue of flesh, which Elohim has formed for all the sons of mortal men, that with it they may speak, giving them breath and mouth and tongue to converse with. Verse 2, the book of Enoch, chapter 84, verse 2. Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, king, great and powerful in your greatness. Yahuwah, of all the creatures of heaven, king of kings, Elohim of the world, whose reign, whose kingdom, and whose majesty endures forever and ever. From generation to generation shall your dominion exist, and all the heavens are your throne forever, and all the earth your footstool forever and ever. For you have made them, and over all you reign. No act whatsoever exceeds your power. Your wisdom is unchangeable. Nor, it says, nor from your throne to from your presence is it ever averted. You know all things, see and hear them. Nor is anything concealed from you. For you perceive all things. The angels, the angels of your heavenly heavens have transgressed. And one mortal flesh shall your wrath remain until the day of the great judgment. And on mortal flesh, he says, you shall your wrath remain until the great day of judgment. Verse 6. This is a book of Enoch, chapter 84, verse 6. Now then, O Elohim Yahuwah, the mighty king, I entreat you, I beseech you to, to grant my prayer. And see, this is what we should do. We should, when we pray, we need to entreat the Most High. And then we need to tell them, we, I beseech you, Abba. I'm asking you, please, to hear my prayer. I know I've been praying lately for people, and I've been saying things for people, and I'm telling you, man, right now the Lord is answering prayers. Like, like he's yes, answering he these is. prayers. When I pray for people and I'm seeing these results coming, you know, I had a buddy. I'm going to give you an example. I had a buddy who's been going through things. He works a lot. He does a lot of high security. And I know he's tired because he tells me all the time. And I prayed to the Lord. I said, I know I love my br brother. And I said, I know, Abba, I know he's not perfect. But I pray, can you please take a weight off of him? Can you please help him out so he can rest? We got a call today from him. And he said he was blessed to win, what, 200 some thousand dollars? Yeah. The Lord blessing him. The Lord bless you all kind of different ways. I'm telling everybody. And I'm not just, that's just one. What about prayers when people say they did demonic, demonic, demonic attacks? Yeah. We've been praying for people who've been sick and they call and say, listen, when I pray and ask the Lord to take it away with faith, he takes it immediately to pain away. And I see healing. This is mm -hmm. deep. Go ahead. Uh, yes, nothing. Saying? I was about to answer. Questions will be answered at the end. Yeah, but at the somebody end. asked about seraphim. Well, just Seraphims all are the kind of angel. It's not got, stars. Angels no, are not stars. They're no, two different yeah. things. You got you got cherubims, seraphims, angels, and you got archangels. And you you got, got the ophanim too. You, well, those are those are angels. those are not the yeah, but those are not the four classes that he considers the real angels. You got cherubim, seraphim, angels, and archangels. You read that in the book of angels, it tells you that. Those are the four main. Then you got openings, like my wife said, these are another class. But the four main ones are angels, archangels, Michael, Fanuel, Uriel, Gabriel. Those are archangels. Then you got cherubims. Cherubims have four faces, like a cow, like a owl, or eagle, like they change. And then you got seraphims. And seraphims, have, I believe they have four wings, two up top, two on the bottom. So they're all four different classes of angels. And then the openings, what are the openings again? They're angels. Okay, so, but these are the classes, so it's pretty deep. All praises. 84. Verse 7. 
Um, I'm on the chapter okay. 84, verse 7, I believe. Okay. Let me make sure. It says 6. Not only him, and you and mighty king entreat you. Okay. It says, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna start at six. The book of Enoch, chapter 84, verse 6. Now then, O Elohim, Yahuwah, the mighty king, I entreat you and beseech you that you grant my prayer and the pros and posterity may be lifted upon me on the earth, and that all of mankind may not perish, that the earth may not be left destitute. And the destruction take place forever. Oh, Adonai, let the race perish from off the earth, which has offended you. He said, let the what perish? The race. He said, the whole race perish that has offended you. Now, I only know one race that I've seen that totally offended him. When you read the book Obadiah, he says that that whole race will be wiped out. He said the whole house. So we know that's Edom. Now, saying that, we know that some of Esau are going to be handmaids and servants. So, but this is what he's talking about. He says, let the, not some of them that offend you, but the whole race of these people offend you. He says, I need you to take them off the earth. Verse 7, that the earth may be left destitute and destruction take place forever. Verse 8, O Adonai, let the race perish from the earth which has offended you, but a righteous and upright race established for the plant of a seed forever. Hide not your face, O Yahuwah, from the prayer of your servant. Verse 85. After this, I saw another dream and explained it. I, another dream and explained it all to you. My son, Enoch, arise and said to his son, Methuselah, to you, my son, I will speak. Hear my words and incline your ear to the visionary dream of your father. Before I married your mother, Edna, I saw a vision on my bed. And I and behold, a cow sprung forth from the earth, and this cow was white, and afterwards a female calf sprang forth, and with the other calves, and the one was black, and the one was red, and the black calf then struck the red one with and, and pursued it over the earth. From that period I could see nothing more of the red calf, but the black one in the increased in bulk, and the female calf and the female heifer came came with him. Verse 7, after this I saw many cattle proceed forth, resembling him, and following after him. The first female young one also went out in the presence of the first cow, and sought the red calf, but found him not. And she lamented with a great lamentation while she was seeking him. Then I looked until that first cow came to her, from which time she became silent and ceased to lament. Afterwards she cleaved, she cleaved. Okay. She, 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 she calved another, she calved another white cow and again calved many cows and black heifers. In my sleep, I also perceived a white bull, which is like manner grew and became a large white bull. And after him, many white calves came forth, resembling him. And they began to, and they began to calve many white calves, which resembled them and follow each other. Sounds familiar around here? What do you think this Red, is? This is this, white, this is deep, man. Black. Well, what what races make, we got right here? Make me think about Come on, man. the flag the flags on these nations. Nations, that's right. That's these under judgment. Arab nations that are under judgment. That's rising up now against uh, Israel. So what colors there. are they? Red, white, and black. Do your homework, folks. Look at their flags. This is deep. Go ahead. Eighty six. All right. Eighty six. Again, I looked attentively while sleeping and surveyed heaven above, and behold, a single star fell from heaven, which being raised up, ate and fed among those cows. After that, I perceived other large and black cows, and behold, all of them changed their <coughs> stalls and pastures, while their young began to lament one with another. Again, I looked in my vision and surveyed heaven. When behold, I saw many stars which descended and projected themselves from <coughs> heaven to where was the first star. Into the midst of those young ones, while the cows were with them, feeding in the midst of them, I looked at and observed them. When behold, they all acted after the manner of horses and mm. began to approach the young cows, all of whom became pregnant and brought forth elephants, camels, mm. and asses. Mm. At these, all the cows were alarmed and terrified when they began biting with their teeth, swallowing and striking with their horns. They began also to devour the cows. And behold, all the children of the earth trembled 
shook with terror at them and suddenly fled away. Mm -hmm. Again, I perceived them when they began to strike and to swallow each other and the earth cried out. Then I raised my eyes a second time towards heaven and saw in a vision that behold, there came forth from heaven as it were the likeness of white men. Mm. One came forth from thence and three with him. Those three who came forth last seized me by my hand and raising me up from the generations of the earth, elevated me to a high station. Then they showed me a lofty tower on the earth while every hill became diminished. And they said, remain here until you perceive what shall come upon those elephants, camels, and asses, upon the stars, and upon all the cows. Then I looked at that one of the four who, who came forth first. He seized the first star, which fell down from heaven, and binding it hand and foot, he cast it into a valley, a valley narrow, deep, stupendous, and gloomy. This is the following ones here. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. one of them drew his sword and gave it to the elephants, camels, and asses who began to strike each other, and the whole earth shook on account of them. That's the Nephilim. Mm -hmm. That's when they, they had they, they came and slept with women. Mm -hmm. They started having different, different types of babies. Types of, yep. Some was Elams, some was mm -hmm. giants, some was Nephilims, some were like Tinkerbells. They were all shapes and forms. So the original ones who were the people looked at them, they were afraid and terrified. Look at what's coming out of these bodies. Look mm -hmm. at what's happening on this earth. This is a metaphor. Go ahead. Verse 5. This is uh, Enoch 88, verse 5. And when I looked in the vision, behold, one of those four angels who came forth hurled from heaven, collected together, and took all the great stars whose form partly resembles that of horses, and binding them all hand and foot, cast them into the cavities of the earth. So what did Sam Zizel, I mean, what did um, Uriel and Gabriel and Michael do? They ended up locking up they these. They bound them. They bound angels them. And they locked them and up. And put them where? In the cavities In the cavity of, the, of earth. the earth, you all. In chapter 89. Amen. Then one of those four went and four went to the white cows and taught them the mystery. While the white cows was trembling, it was born and became a man and fabricated for himself a large ship. In this he dwelt. And we know who this is. The large ship is who? Noah. Get this. And this he dwelt and three cows. He said, in this he dwelt, and three cows dwelt with him in the ship, which covered him, which covered them. And again, I lifted up my eyes towards heaven and saw a lofty roof above it were seven cataracts, which poured forth on a certain village much water. Again, I looked and behold, there were fountains open on the earth in that large village, and the waters began to boil up and rose over the earth, so that the village was not seen. While its whole soil was covered with waters, much water was over it, darkness and clouds. Then I surveyed the height of the waters, and it was elevated above the village. It flowed over the village and stood higher than the earth. Then all the cows which were collected there, while I looked at them, were drowned and swallowed up and destroyed in the water. But the ship floated above it, and all the cows, the elephants and camels and asses were drowned in the earth. And all cattle, now he's talking about the different the what? Floods. He's talking about the floods, the different species of people. It says, nor could I perceive them, neither neither were they able to get out, but perish and sunk into the deep. Verse 9, this is uh, chapter 80. 89. 89, chapter 89, verse 9. And again, I looked in the, looked in the vision until the characters from the lofty roof were removed. And the fountains of the earth became equalized, while other depths were opened, into which the water began to descend until the dry ground appeared. The ship remained on the earth, and the darkness receded, and it became light. Then the white cow, which became a man, went out of the ship, and the three cows with them. Who are these three cows, Sister Micaiah? His son, Shem. Noah, Shem, Ham, and, and Japheth. All praises. It says, one of the three cows was white, resembling what? That white, that cow of them was a red. No, was albino. Yes, right. That's right. One of these three cows was white, resembling that cow. One of them was red as blood. And one of them was black. And the white cow left them. And then began wild beasts and birds to bring forth. Of all these, the different kinds assembled together. Lions, tigers, wolves, dogs, wild boars, foxes, rabbits, and the hanzer. This, 
the Sisses, the Sisses, the Vest Kites, the Punkas, the Ravens, these are all different animals. Then the white cow was born in the midst of them, and they began to bite each other. When the white cow, which was born in the midst of them, brought forth a wild ass and a white cow, at the same time, the many wild asses, then the white cow, which was born, brought forth a black wild sow and a white sheep. And the wild sow also brought forth many swine. Mm. Mm. And that sheep brought forth 12 sheep. We know who the 12 sheep are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When these 12 sheep grew up, they delivered one of them to the asses. And in those who and those asses delivered the sheep to the wolves. And he grew up in the midst of them. Then Yahuwah brought the 11 sheep that they might dwell and feed with him in the midst of the wolves. They multiplied. Wow. Go ahead. What you say? No, go ahead. Okay. They multiplied, and there was abundance of pasture for them. But the wolves began to, to frighten and oppress them while they destroyed their young ones. Verse 27. And they left their young ones, and they left their young in tor torrents of deep waters. Now the sheep began to cry out on account of their young and fled for the refuge to the Adonai. One, however, was, was saved, escaped, and went away into the wild asses. And I beheld the sheep moaning and crying and petitioning their Adonai with all their might unto Yahuwah of the sheep descended at their voice from a lofty habitation and went to them and inspected them. So this is what is that when, talking about? This is when we were in Egyptian captivity and Moses. He was the one that went to, uh, he says he went away to the wild asses. Right. He lived amongst them Egyptians, mm -hmm. the wild folks. That's right. You know, this are y'all catching about. that? Yeah, they're catching it. If you guys are not following it, this is what this is talking about. So these, these. He uh, had this vision about Yes, right. This. And he was dreaming about the things that would befall Israel. And he called that sheep, which had secretly stolen away from the wolves and told him to make the wolves understand that they were not to touch the sheep. Then that sheep went to the wolves with the word of Yahuwah. When another met him and proceeded with him, both of them together entered into the dwellings of the wolves. We know this is who? Moses, Moses and Aaron. And Aaron. This is his brother. Both of them went into the dwellings of the wolves and conversing with them made them understand that henceforward they were not to touch the sheep. Afterwards, I perceived the wolves greatly prevailing over the sheep with their whole force. The sheep cried out, and their Adonai came to them. He began to strike the wolves who commenced a grievous lamentation, but the sheep were silent, nor from that time did they cry out. 36. I then it says, I it says, I then looked at them until they and they departed from the wolves. The eyes of the wolves were blind who went out and followed them with all their might. But Yahuwah, for the sheep proceeded with them and conducted them, and all his sheep followed them, and all his sheep followed him. And his countenance terrified, his countenance terrified and splendid and glorious was his aspect. Yet the wolves began to follow the sheep until they were overtaken in a certain lake of water. This is what's happening right now with so-called uh, you, who, you know who over in other countries say they're going to go against Iran. The Lord is hardening their hearts just mm -hmm. like he did right mm -hmm. here. Why? Because those same people, you understand, they've taken who? They've taken the sheep's identity. So the Lord right now, he is getting ready to expose them. He's already done that, but he's getting ready to destroy them because they boasted against the natural branch. As a matter of fact, they said they are the natural branch. So he's getting ready to do battle. Verse 39, it says, then the lake the lake became divided water standing up on both sides before their face. And while their Adonai was conducting them, he placed himself between them and the wolves. And the wolves, however, perceived not the sheep, but went into the midst of the lake, following them and running after them into the lake of water. But when they saw Yahuwah of the sheep, they turned to fly from him before his face. Then the water of the lake returned. And suddenly, according to his nature, it became full and was raised up until they covered the wolves. Mm -hmm. And I saw that all of them which had followed the sheep perished and were what? Drowned. This is what's going to happen right now. All these people are going to drown in the word. The yeah. word is living waters. He said, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to give you the feast of the birds on my holy mountain, Ezekiel 30, 39. And this is what's going to happen. They're going to try to come up. 
and this land, and they're going to try to blow it up. But that's when the Lord is going to destroy them and pluck us out in the midst of the fire. What verse you on? 44, please. Okay. Go ahead and read. Okay. Enoch chapter 89, verse 44. Go ahead. It says, but the sheep passed over this water, proceeding to a wilderness, which was without both water and grass. And they began to open their eyes and to see. They began to do what? Open their eyes and to see. Now, it's funny. That's, that's, that's spiritual now. Go ahead. It is spiritual Go because... Ahead. Going back earlier, it said um, in part of this vision, something served as cataracts. Right. Which means basically they were blinding these people spiritually. They was blinding them spiritually. But guess what? It says, but the sheep passed over the water. Yep. That's what when is, they began to see. So what, what is the water? What, what water are we passing over open. right now? We're passing over this word. word. We're going over this word. Now that we're going over the word, we're going over the water. Come on. Our eyes are what? Bring They're it out. open now. Yes. Y'all see this? Now our eyes are open. Bring it out. But before, before we came into this word, before we got into these deep waters, our eyes were closed. Yes. We were spiritually dead. We were Ezekiel 37. We were the dry bones that had no life. But now he's bringing the four winds to us. How now we're we walking over this word, which is living what? Waters. Yes. Now we can see. see now parallel. we can hear. This My is the parallel. Goodness. Go ahead. Verse Sister 45. Uh, Enoch 89, verse 45. Then I beheld Yahuwah of the sheep inspecting them. Do you hear that? That's what he's doing right inspecting now. Inspecting the sheep. He's inspecting us as we water speak. Water and grass. What is he giving us? Water and grass. How is he giving us water and grass? He's feeding us this word. He's feeding but this also word. He's taking care of us. Physically. <laughs> Come on. Y'all might just, well, I don't know what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I don't know. This. Did he say, don't worry about what you're going to do tomorrow or eat tomorrow? If I take care of the birds, the bees, and if I say the greater blast spring forth, but yet if I take care of them, do you not think I'm going to feed my little ones? He's yes, taking care you. of you. You may be struggling. You may be this, but I bet you every day you're eating. I bet you every day your provisions are made. Come on. It may not be the way you want it, but you know what? You're being tried by the fire. Yes. You're being tested to see if you're worthy with this garment you got on to get into the new kingdom, which is spiritual. Because this is what Yahuwah is inspecting. He's inspecting us, us right now. You're being inspected. <laughs> so you can, he, okay. you're being inspected for what? For what he expects. Come on. Say that one more time. You're being inspected for what he expects Let's, from you. Mm. Being a brand that he wants to pluck out of a fire. Mm. If you his brand, don't he expect certain things out How of something represent that represents him? him? Come on now. Mm. This is deep. Keep going, please. Enoch 89, verse 46. It says, the sheep was proceeding and conducting them. And when he had ascended the top of the lofty rock, Yahuwah of the sheep sent him to them. Come on. Afterwards, I perceived their Adonai standing before them with an aspect terrific and severe. And yes. when they all beheld him, they were frightened at his countenance. This is what's going to happen when he comes back. Yes. The shaking, y'all going to be scared too. Don't think you're going to just be all lolly jaw and all of that. No, you're going to be shaking. When he came to us on, on Mount Sinai, on a, on a burning bush in the clouds, our knees were shaking, trembling. But he did something, even though our knees were shaking and trembling, he implanted his word in us. That's why now we hear it. It's a confirmation we already know. Yes. This is part of our DNA. Bring it out. We are the people of the Bible. We are the word. We're the fishermen. And later on, we're going to be what? We're going to be the reapers. Let's keep going, please, Sister Micaiah. Enoch chapter 89, verse 50. It says, all of them were alarmed and trembled. They cried out after that sheep and to the other sheep who had been with him and who was in the midst of them, saying, we are not able to stand before our Adonai before or him. to look upon him. Come on now. This is how so many will yeah. be when on judgment day. returns. Yeah. And they're going to be hiding themselves in the caves and the cliffs. There's a lot of people of our people going to be hiding. Because why? They become reprobates. What's good is bad and bad is good. Yeah. They think the things they're doing are good. But the Lord said, I turn them over. I inspect them. Did he say he's inspecting us? We just read that, right? Once oh. I inspect you and see that you don't want to follow my laws and want to do follow your curse is the man who follows his what? His heart. heart. When you want to follow your heart and make flesh your arm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn you over. I'm going to give you a reprobate mind. Yes. You're going to think what is good. It's bad. And what's bad, you're going to think it's good. You didn't do that. I did it to you because I made you. He's Keep looking going. on the inside. He's looking out. on the inside. He don't care about the outside of the cup. He cares about what's on the inside of the cup. 
Go ahead. Enoch 89, verse 51. It Go says, ahead. then that sheep who conducted them went away and ascended the top the top of the rock. Yes. When the sheep began to grow blind and to wander from the path which he had been which he had shown them, but he knew it not. Come on now. Their Adonai, however, was moved with great indignation against them. And when that sheep had learned, he descended from the top of the rock and coming to them found that there were many which had become blind. This is when Moses came down and our people were sitting there with a calf. The same bull that you see in front of Chicago where they say that Michael Jordan, they worship him as a god. And then they put this bull up. That bull is an abomination. That is the same bull, that calf that we built. You see, they'll, they'll make a mockery of the most high. And then they'll tell you that he's the what? The goat. Mm. Well, what is the goat? The goat is Satan. He's both sexes, male and female. I want y'all to get, this is a lot deeper than the carnal. This is really spiritual. Go ahead. Enoch 89, verse 56. Go ahead. And have wandered from <coughs> his path. As soon as they beheld him, they feared and trembled at his presence. Yeah. And became desirous of returning to their fold. They became desirous to turn to what? Their fold. See, we're desirous to turn to our fold right now. We see the earthquakes. We see the famine. We see the pestilence. We see all the wars getting ready to go on. Now we're desiring to come back to what? Our foe. Yes. Keep reading, please. Verse 58. Enoch 89, verse 58. Then that sheep, taking with him other <coughs> sheep, went to those which had wandered. Yes. And afterwards <coughs> began to kill them. This is when the Levites fell upon all the people. Go ahead. They were terrified at his countenance. Then he caused those which had wandered to return. Who went back to their fold? Oh, praise! I likewise saw there in the vision that this sheep became a man, built a house for Yahuwah of the sheep, and made them all stand in the house. Yes, I perceived also that the sheep which proceeded to meet this sheep, their conductor died. I saw too that all the great sheep perished, while smaller ones rose up in their place, yes. entered into a pasture, and approached a river of water. Then that sheep, their conductor, who became a man, was separated from them and died. Mm -hmm. All the sheep sought after him and cried for him with bitter lamentation. I saw what number are you on? 64. Go ahead. When the, Enoch what? 89, six, verse 64. Go ahead. I saw likewise that they ceased to cry after that sheep and passed over the river of water, and that there arose other sheep, all of whom conducted them instead of those who were dead. And who had conducted them. Then I saw that the sheep entered into a goodly place and a territory delectable and glorious. I saw also that they became satiated, that their house was in the midst of a delectable territory, mm -hmm. and that sometimes their eyes were open, and that sometimes they were blind. Yes. Until another sheep arose and conducted them. He brought them all back, and their eyes were open. Are you seeing this? Every time we become blind, it's because we lost a leader. The only time that our eyes became open is when the Lord put a spirit in certain men to teach the people, and they became the leader. Now, when they start teaching, their eyes became what? Open. Now their eyes are open. Oh, wait, He's doing that believe. right yeah. now today. Yes. He's got certain men out here, you understand, that are doing what? They're teaching the word, and now our people's eyes are Opening. open. They're not closed anymore. They don't have their fingers in their ears, and they don't have their hands over their eyes anymore. Now their hands are being spiritually removed, and their ears, earplugs are being spiritually what? Removed. Yes. So they can see and hear now. This oh, is what's going crazy. on. But you got to have the Lord's spiritual men to do this. Yes. And there's not many out here. It's not many. Yes. Go ahead, Sister Micaiah. Enoch 89, verse 68. Y'all seeing these parables here? You seeing them? How beautiful this is? Yes. Go ahead. It says, then dogs, foxes, and wild boars began to devour them until another sheep arose, the master of the flock, one of themselves a ram to conduct them. Yes. This ram began to butt on every side, those dogs, foxes, Come and on. wild boars until they all perished. Come on. Who's this? Joshua. This is Joshua. Okay. This is Joshua. Go ahead. With his eyes, he saw the ram in the midst of them who had laid aside his glory. <laughs> And he began to strike the sheep, treading upon them and behaving himself without dignity. Mm. Then there at night sent a sheep to a still different sheep and raised him up to be a ram and to conduct them instead of that sheep who had laid aside his glory. Going therefore to him and conversing with him alone, 
he raised up that ram and made him a prince and leader of the flock mm -hmm. all the time that the dogs troubled the sheep. The first ram paid respect to this latter ram. Yes. Then the latter ram arose and fled away from before his face. And I saw that those dogs caused the first ram to fall, but the latter ram arose and conducted the smaller sheep. That ram likewise begat many sheep and died. Mm -hmm. Then there was a smaller sheep, a ram instead of him, which became a prince and leader conducting the flock. And the sheep increased in size and multiplied. And all the dogs, foxes, and wild boars feared and fled away from him. That ram also struck and killed all the wild beasts so that they could not again prevail in the midst of the sheep, nor at any time ever snatched them away. And that house was made large and wide, a lofty tower being built upon it by the sheep for Yahuwah of the sheep. So that was who? Solomon. Sounds like uh, Solomon. I think so. Mm -hmm. It says the house was low, but the tower was elevated and very high. Then Yahuwah of the sheep stood upon that tower and caused a full table to approach before him. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Again, I saw that those sheep wandered and went various ways, forsaking that their house and that their Adonai called to some among them whom he sent to them. But these the sheep began to kill. And when one of them was saved from slaughter, he leaped and cried out against those who were desirous of killing him. So yeah. these are the prophets, prophets he's yes. sending. These are the prophets. Verse well, eight, and uh, who always killed the prophets? Our own people. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 87. But Yahuwah of the sheep delivered him from their hands and made him ascend to him and remain with him. He sent also many others to them to testify and with lamentations to exclaim it against them. might have been Elijah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Elijah. Okay. Go ahead. He took him up in the midst uh -huh. of the people. 89 uh -huh. says, again, I saw when some of them forsook the house of their Adonai and his tower, wandering on all sides and growing blind. Growing what? Blind. How did they grow blind? They forsook what? The laws. They forsake the laws. This is why he said we'd be in darkness for what? Three days. Yeah. That's not physical darkness, folks. It's spiritual darkness. Yeah. For 3,000 years, we've been in darkness without the Torah. We've been told by your pastor, priests, and deacons that the laws are done away with. Yes. So since we've been told the laws are done away with, we perish by not following them. We had them cataracts on our eyes. Man, deep cataracts. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 90. I saw that Yahuwah of the sheep made a great slaughter among them in their pasture until they cried out to him in consequence of that slaughter. Then he departed from the place and left them in the power of lions, tigers, wolves, mm. and the hyenas. Mm. Man. All the beasts. Are we not surrounded, surrounded by, by all right the beasts? Now? That's how these nations have been treating us. Lions, tigers, and hyenas. Predators. They've been predators against us. Against what? The sheep. Uh. Go ahead. And in the power of foxes and of every beast. And the wild beasts began to tear them. I saw, too, that he forsook the house of their fathers and their tower, giving them all into the power of lions to tear and devour them into the power of every beast. Why did he forsake us? Because we went what? We forsook him. We forsook him. We went away from him, so he turned his back on us. Yes. Go ahead, 93. 93. Okay, then I began to cry with all my might, imploring Yahuwah of the sheep and showing him how the sheep were devoured by all the beasts of prey. But he looked on the, the silence, rejoicing that they were devoured, swallowed up, and carried off, and leaving them in the power of every beast for food. He called also 70 shepherds. And that's 70 again. That's prophetic, yeah. isn't it? That 70 is really prophetic. And, re and resigned to them the sheep, that they might overlook them, saying to them and to their associates, every one of you henceforward overlook the sheep. And whatsoever I command you to do, I will deliver them into you number. So he says, I want you to look at these sheep, but I'm going to give them to you, but I'm going to number the amount of people that I'm going to give you to destroy. Get this. 96, I will tell you which of them shall be slain. These destroy. And he delivered the sheep to them. Then he called to another and said, understand that which everything which is the which the shepherd shall do in these he to says, these sheep. And watch everything. He says, then he called another and said, understand and watch everything which the shepherd shall do to these sheep. For many more of them shall perish than I have commanded. So what did he say? I told him a certain number, but many more 
that I gave to these shepherds are going to die than I commanded. They killing way more than I told them to. Get this. Of every excess and slaughter which the shepherds shall commit, there shall be an account. What does that mean, Sister Micaiah? There's going to be a judgment. There's going to be it. a judgment for it. Get this. As how many may have perished by my command and how many they have may have destroyed of their own heads. Of all the destruction by each of the shepherds, there shall be an account. And according to the number, I will cause a recital, 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 recital that be made before me. So you got to recite. You're going to recite the number back. How many they have destroyed of their own heads and how many they have delivered up unto destruction that I may have the testimony against them that I may know all their proceedings and that delivering to them, I may see why they will, I will, I may see what they will do, whether they will act as I have commanded them or not. 100, verse 100. However, they shall be ignorant. Neither shall you make any explanation to them. Neither shall you reprove them, but there shall be an account of, of all the destruction done by them and their receptive receptive seasons, respective. respective seasons. Then they, it says, then they began to kill and destroy more than I, it was commanded of them. And they left the sheep in the power of the lions so that the very many of them were devoured and swallowed up by lions and tigers and wild boars preyed upon them. That tower they burnt and overthrew the, that house. Then I grieved extremely on the account of the tower and because of the house of the sheep was overthrown. Neither was I afterwards able to perceive whether any again entered into that house. So what was that tower? 70 AD. Remember the city was overthrown in 70 AD? This is that high tower because Mount Suda set up what? On a high mountain. It was What's way up high. There? Say Mount that again. Uh-huh. Oh. This is where this is where Benjamin Levi and Judah in Jerusalem. This is in 70 AD when they were slaughtered. Okay. I believe this is what the account is talking about. 104, the shepherd likewise and their associates delivered them and to all the wild beasts that they might devour them, each of them in the season, according to the number was delivered up. Each of them with one or another was described in the sefer. How many of them with one another were destroyed in the sefer? More, however, than was ordered. Everyone killed and destroyed. Then I began to weep and was greatly indignant on the account of the sheep. In like manner also I saw a vision of him who wrote and how he wrote down one who wrote down ones destroyed by the shepherds. Every day he's he every day he ascended, remained and exhibited each of his cipher to Yahuwah of the sheep with all which they had done. He says every day this angel was taking the number up. So he's saying this every day. You see that? Mm -hmm. He's getting a number of everybody of our people who've been destroyed every day. Every day they're coming telling him, get this. And all which of them had 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 made away with, 108, and all which they had delivered up to destruction. He took the cipher in his hands and read it, sealed it, and deposited it. Mm. Mm, that's deep. You don't deposit it. It ain't going nowhere. After, after this, I saw a shepherd overlooking the 12, the 12 hours overlooking for 12 hours and behold three of the sheep departed arrived and went in and began build all which was fallen down of that house but the wild boars hindered them although they prevailed not again they began to build as before and raise up the tower which is called the lofty tower and they began to place before the tower a table and every and every impure and unclean unclean kind of bread upon it and moreover, all the sheep see, and were as shepherds likewise, and were the shepherds likewise. Thus they were delivered up to the shepherds for great destruction, who trod them underfoot and devoured them. 117. Yet was their Adonai silent until all the sheep of the field were destroyed, and the shepherds and the sheep were all mixed together, but they did not save them from the powers of the beasts. Then he who wrote the sefer ascended it, exhibited it and read it, and read it at the residence of Yahuwah. He said, read at where? The residence of Yahuwah of the sheep. They said it was at his house they read it. Ain't there something? This is deep. He petitioned him for them and prayed, petitioning out of every act 
of the shepherds. He said, pointing, pointing out. excuse me, Shalakia, pointing out every act of the shepherds and testifying before him against them all. Then taking the sefer, he deposited with him and departed. And I observed during that time, you got something to say? Well, I, just understanding, you mm -hmm. see how it's talking about yeah. testifying against and things mm -hmm. being recorded. The, there everything's are written in heaven. Courts. Yes. As above, yep. so below. Yep. Like yep. the the way that Satan copies everything, everything that the Lord does, but he corrupts it. That's what he does. He gives you a bit of the truth, and then he gives you nothing but lies. He takes salt for sugar, sugar for salt. Wine for vinegar, vinegar for wine. Everything mm -hmm. Satan does is upside down. Yeah. Verse 90. And I observed during that time that that thus 37 shepherds were overlooking all of whom finished in their respective periods as the first. Others then received them into their hands that they might overlook them in their respective periods. Every shepherd in his own period. Afterwards, I saw in a vision that all the birds of heaven arrived arrived eagles avis kites and ravens the eagles instructed them all who instructed them all the eagle that's a great feast of the bird i'm thinking we're reading about to read let me get this let me see and they began to devour the sheep oh wait a minute well what is the sign of america right what is the sign all of the european, european nation nations. the symbol is the what eagle. the eagle go ahead and read sister mccoy 90 verse 3 it says they began to devour the sheep to peck out their eyes and to eat up their bodies the sheep then cried out for their bodies were devoured by the birds. So these eagles, what is the symbol? Psalms 83 verse 1. It tells you that these people be confederate, but their symbol would be what? The eagle. This is what he's talking about. That represents Rome. That represents the 10 European nations. Go ahead and keep reading, please. Enoch 90 verse 5. I also cried out and groaned in my sleep against the shepherd, which overlooked the flock. And I looked while the sheep were eaten up by the dogs, by the eagles, and by the kites. Mm. They neither left them their body, mm. nor their skin, nor mm. their muscles, until their bones alone remained. Mm. Dry bones. Dry until bones. their bones fell upon the ground. And the sheep became diminished. This is Ezekiel 37. This is, oh, Father, do you see these dry bones? Oh, I see them, but they don't move. This is the dry bones right now that he's talking about. These are the bones of our people that have fell to the ground. And we become what? Diminished. Mm. We are remnant now. Go ahead and read. Enoch 90 verse 7. I observed likewise during the time that 23 shepherds were overlooking who completed in their respective periods 58 periods. So this is on the timeline he's giving them over us. But that timeline is over now. Keep reading. Then were small lambs born of those white sheep who began to open their eyes and to see. Crying out to the sheep. What are they doing now? Crying out. So to now the, sheep. the small lambs that were born are waking up and now they're crying out to the sheep. Mm. Y'all getting this? We're crying out to you right now. My repent. Goodness. Repent. Ooh, oh, man. you will not be saved when he comes back this time. Y'all are crying out. This, book out. this is why they took it out. It's speaking to us. It's speaking to us in this time. It's telling us exactly what's going on and who's well, doing from it. From beginning to end. Let's keep going, please. Verse 9, Enoch 90, verse 9. The sheep, however, cried not out to them. Neither did they hear what they uttered to them, but were deaf, blind, and obdurate, obdurate. in the greatest degrees. Oh, man. Look up obdurate, please. <laughs> All right. Let's look it up. So he says that the sheep became, they became... They, they didn't holler out. We, you know, think about all these years we've been just listening to all this doctrine and just dealing with everything these people dishing out to us. And we've been just sleep, dry bones. We didn't speak up for ourselves. We didn't talk out. We didn't even utter a word about what's going on. But now in these days, when you read Ezekiel 37, it says the whole house of Israel. The Lord has put flesh to flesh and bone to bone. He's put sinews and tendons and he's got us on our feet. Yes. And he's the one. What does Yahuwah mean? He who breathes life nail in hand. He had to breathe that life, those four winds into us, and now he's doing it from where? Up on high from heaven. He's brought the Holy Spirit and it's coming into us, and now we're standing on our feet. What does that word mean? It's an adjective. means stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or course of action. Wow. Hard-headed, stiff Hard-headed, neck. stiff neck. He says they uttered them, but they were deaf, blind, refusing to change, hard-headed, stiff neck. They were obdurate. And to the what? The Great greatest degree. 
Mm. Is that not our people? Come on. Do we not imitate and do everything they push on us? Come on. They tell us to walk around with our pants down. We do it. They show it on the video. They tell our daughters to walk around half naked. What do they do? They do it. They tell us that, listen, you see this, this person, this race and that race, and then they put them in a the movie. This is what y'all need to be doing. Then what do we do? We mimic it. But the Lord says we got to separate from these people that we are mm -hmm. put upon them. He said that we are, are, are separate. We're different. He said that we are special. He said he made us and put us above all people on the earth. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. But we want to be like them. And that's why we die like them. Did he not say you're gods? You're not even supposed to be dying. You're supposed to be immortal. But the ones who walk righteously, they will be immortal. Go ahead. Even the people that teach don't right. read this book. Right. <laughs> that is right. not of the most high. But as you read it, you see it's totally of the most Come high. Come on, it lines up. Well, not only lines up, it explains things that are unexplainable. It breaks it down. That's what For it does. Real. Even the luminaries, their orbs, how they work, how they lose a, a, a period of their light on the sixth day, the 30th day, so forth and so on. Yes. It explains everything. It explains life. Mm. This is life. This is our bloodline. Go ahead. Enoch chapter 90 verse 10. I saw in the vision that ravens flew down upon those lambs, that they seized one of them, and that tearing the sheep in pieces, they devoured them. I saw also that the horns grew upon those lambs, and that the ravens lighted down upon their horns. Mm. I saw, too, that a large horn sprouted out on an animal among the sheep, and that their eyes were opened. Mm. He looked at them. Their eyes were wide open, and he cried out to them. Then the Dabala saw him, all of whom ran to him. What is the Dabala? Look that up. Okay. When we come across certain words, since we're teaching, we like to go ahead and read the words and break it down so you get a deeper understanding. I like to go ahead and break them down so we're not guessing something. Sometimes I guess. Sometimes, you know, 90% of the time I'm right, but sometimes I'm not. So I like to go ahead and read it. It's not about what you feel in your heart. It's about what the word says. So it says, then the Dabala saw him of all of all whom ran to him go ahead what does dabble mean it means hold on take your time dabble to wither or dry up mm. means in hebrew a lump of hold on. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness why does it do this it's okay take your time we're good you said the dabble means a lump of hold on Okay. It didn't finish it. It just opened up to the book of Enoch. Okay, no problem. So it's then the dabbler saw Suppressed, him. Suppressed. And let me see. And ran to him. Okay. Don't worry about it. If you got to deal with that, don't worry about it, Sister McKay. So the dabbler, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it is it, to me, it sounds like you know, the adversary, somebody who's evil. Um, so it says, and besides this, all the eagles, go ahead. You want, you were reading, I'll go ahead and finish if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. It says, and besides this, all the eagles and the abbess and ravens and the kites were still carrying off the sheep, flying down up, flying down upon them and devouring them. The sheep were silent, but the dabbler lamented and cried out. Mm. Then the ravens con contended and struggled with them. And they washed and they they wished among them to break his horn, but they prevailed not over him. And I looked at them and until the shepherds and the eagles and the abbess and the kites came, who cried out to the ravens to break the horn of the dabbler, to contend with him and to kill him. But he struggled with them and cried out, help might them help might come to him. Then I perceived that the man came who had written down the names of the shepherds who ascended up from before Yahuwah of the sheep. He brought, he brought assistance and caused everyone to see him descending to help the Dabala. So who is the Dabala? Is that considered? Um, I don't know. This one definition here. 384. Saying, Let me see right here. 384. The Transfiguration. Mattathiah. Matthew. So. It uh, says here, overawed by cowering before, repressed or abashed in the presence of lying. Okay, but this Let's is this is actually saying it mm. like it's a it's a person. Person, right? It's saying like it's a person. It says he brought assistance and caused everyone to see him descending to help, descending to the help of the dabbler. 
I perceive likewise that Yahuwah of the sheep came to them in the raft, while all these who saw him fled away. And I fell down in his, in his tabernacle before his face, while all the eagles and abbots and ravens and kites assembled and brought with them all the sheep of the field. All came together and strove to break the horn of the dabbler. So I'm thinking that's Messiah. You know what I'm saying? You know, then I saw a man who wrote on the seat of the word of Yahuwah and opened the seat of destruction, of that destruction which the, la the last 12 shepherds wrought and pointed out before Yahuwah of the sheep that they destroyed more than those who were preceded, who preceded them. I saw also that Yahuwah of the sheep came to them, taking in his hand a scepter of his wrath and seized the earth, which became rent asunder, while all the beasts and the birds of the heavens fell fell from that from the sheep and sunk into the earth, which closed over them. And I saw too that a large sword was given to the sheep, who went forth again against all the beasts of the field to slay them. This is when the Lord says he's going to make us a battle axe. This is when he says in Ezekiel 34, he's going to raise the whole house of Israel, and they're going to be as what? Battle. He's going to make us a sword. Because just like with Moses, we took out 25 nations. Just like with Josh, we took out 31 nations. He's going to do the same. Does the Lord change? No. He never changes. Just like he used us before, he's going to use us in the end to clean the whole world. But we got to be cleansed first, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. We got to be cleansed first before we can do it. We can't talk about a stick in someone else's eye if we got a board in our own. We won't be seen on judgment day. It says, but all the beasts of the birds of the heavens fled away from before their face. And I saw the throne in, erected in the, in the delectable in a delectable land. Upon that, upon this sat Yahuwah of the sheep, who received all the sealed cipher, which were opened before him. Then Yahuwah called the first seven white ones and commanded them to bring bring before him the first of the first stars, which proceeded of the star, which, which which preceded the stars, whose from partially resembled that of a horses, and the first star, which fell down first. And they brought them all before him. And he spoke to the men who wrote in his presence, who was one of the seven white ones, saying, Take those 70 shepherds to whom I delivered up to the sheep, and receiving them, killed them, and receiving them, killed more than them, than I commanded. Behold, I saw them all bound and standing before him. First came the trial of the stars, which be, being judged and found guilty, went and placed, went into the place of punishment. They thrust them into the deep, full of flaming fire and full of pillars of fire. Then the 70 shepherds were judged and being found guilty, they were thrust into a, a flaming abyss. And at that time, likewise, I perceived that one, that one abyss was thus open in the midst of the earth, which was full of fire. And to this were brought, were brought the blind sheep, which being judged, they've, they being judged and found guilty, were all thrust into the abyss of fire on the earth and burned. They were called the blind. What's this, Makai? Um, Thirty-five. Okay, I'm sorry. You're not. Well, no, somebody the, just sent me the definition of Okay, you got it. What is, what is it saying? Somebody said, check the footnotes for 90. It's the prophets. And then somebody else said, okay. this is... Well, I, I can see it being the prophets, you. different prophets. Um, you know, I can see that. It says, Deborah what? White sent... what she say? She said, a very spiritual person who often relies on intuition for decision making. Okay. Okay. Thank so, y'all. Thank y'all very much. So Dabla is a prophet, Pesca. all praises, or someone uh -huh. who's um um very spiritual, who's given the word, mm. all praises. So basically the Lord's messengers, mm. all praises. Mm. It says here, 35, and to this were brought the blind sheep, which being judged and found guilty, were all thrust into the abyss of the fire on the earth and burnt. So did y'all get that? Mm. Our people who are blind, what's going to happen to them? They're going to be thrown. If verse 35 says they're going to be thrown where? In the fire. They're going to be thrown the in the fire. Of fire so this is not earth. time to be blind. It's time to open your eyes up and wake up. He's going to start with us first. Because if we represent him, do you? Do, I'm going to ask you a question. If you got something that represents you, but then you got other stuff out there that's, that's horrible, what are you going to get away first? You're going to take away that which cold in your name first because that's embarrassing to you. That's why he's going to start with us first, because we're embarrassing him. 
and his holy name. It's mm. not about us. It's about his holy name and the respect that we need to have for and the world need to have. And so if we're representing him, why do we act like vagabonds? Why do we act like the under the under trodden, the downtrodden and the lowest of the low? Because they taught us to be that way. Yeah. When we should walk like kings and priests of the earth. Yes. The opposite of what they've been teaching you. We are a brand. And he said, you will not be, he said, you will not make it unless you're what? Worthy. Then he'll pluck you out of the fire because this earth is going to burn by fire. Mm. Now he's also talking about the fire you're going through every day too to refine you. But look at what it says. They were all thrust into that abyss of yep. fire and, and, on and, the earth on and the burnt. Earth and burnt because the fire is going to be on this earth. Mm. He's not talking about in hell, Sheol. He's talking about the fire when he drops fire and brimstone on the earth. He's, he's not going to pluck you anymore. out in the midst of it. I've seen the fire. I've seen a brother shoot up. I've seen a sister shoot up. I've seen another one shoot up. And he shot me up. But I said, Abba, please let me see what's going on in the earth. And he took me eastward. I remember he showed me. And the spirit I knew was spiritual. And I saw fire and brimstone in the whole earth. Yeah. I saw it burning up. But I do remember he plucked me out of that fire. This is deep. 36. It says, and the abyss was on the right of that house. And I saw the sheep burning and their bones consuming. I stood watching him immerse that ancient house while they brought out its pillars, every plant in it, and the ivory enfolding it. They brought it out and deposited it into the place on the right side of the earth. I also saw that Yahuwah of the sheep produced a new house, great and lofty than the former, which he bound by the former circular spots. All his pillars were new and his ivory new as well as more abundant than the former ancient, which he had brought out. And while all the sheep which were, le were left in the midst of it, all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of heaven fell down and worshiped them. Mm. And worship who? Them. Worship the who? The sheep that was left. So the, the remnant judgment. of the sheep after the judgment, all the other, did Yeshua say, did I not call you God? Did not the Lord put all the animals under Adam? Did he not make even the angels bow down to Adam? Did he not say that Israel is the express image of who? Adam. This Yeshua is who? The heir of this earth, being the bridegroom. But who are we? We're the bride. This is why he's going to make all of them bow down to us. This is deep, and I love it. And while all the sheep which were left were in the midst of all, it all, all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of heaven fell down and worshipped them, petitioning them, and obeying them in what? Everything. And obeying them in what? Everything they're gonna obey us in everything. Well, think about what this was the deep. original purpose. That was the it. Most High made Adam in His image to do what? To, to have dominion, dominion over, over the, the earth. earth. So He's gonna turn the original purpose back. Forty-one. Go ahead and read. Then those three who were clothed in white and who holding me by my hand had before caused me to ascend, while the hand of Him who spoke held me raised me up and placed me in the midst of the sheep before the judgment took place. Before what happened? Before the judgment. Before took the judgment place. took place on earth. Go ahead and read. And notice too how um, Yahushua mm -hmm. is holding is holding Enoch up. Right. He says the one who held me up. Because remember, I had that vision of the stones. A hand come behind me in the stone. Then I had another with mortar. Another with a stone. Another with that. What happened when it got to my height? What did I tell everybody? I said that the stones represent the world, the word, the holy words of the prophets. The mortar represented what? The Holy Spirit holding those words together. Yeah. But we became what? It became what? A pillar. Revelation 14, he said, what pillars in his kingdom. So when that pillar, when I saw it in that vision, that pillar fell forward. But guess what? He was a, he came down like a pendulum. I saw it drop. Bing, 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 bing. And the pillar stood up. This is what this is saying. He will cause us to stand when we begin to fall. Come on. Go ahead and read, please. Verse 42. This is Enoch 90, verse 42. The sheep were all white with wool, long and pure. Then all who had oh, perished. Wait a minute. Who on earth got woolly hair? Right. Who's got woolly hair? Keep reading. Go ahead. Then all who had perished and had been destroyed, every beast of the field and every bird of heaven assembled in that house, while Yahuwah of the sheep rejoiced with great joy 
because all were good and had come back again to his dwelling. So why did he rejoice? Because all were good. Come again. on, man. We were all good again. He rejoices when we come back to him. He's rejoicing right now. You, you know that they're writing records in heaven with all of us sitting here and reading and studying and coming back to the Most High. It says that he's yes. doing what? He's rejoicing come again. On. Oh, He's rejoicing right now. That's why your enemies are being taken out. Yes. Not by force, not by might, but he's doing this with a spirit. Keep going, please. Enoch 90, verse 43. And I saw that they laid down the sword, which had been given to the sheep, and returned it to his house, mm. sealing it up in the presence of Yahuwah. Yes. All the sheep would have been enclosed in that house had it been capable of containing them. Can contain it. Too many. Go ahead. And the eyes of all were open, gazing on the Eyes of one. some? It says all. Oh, I was, this is when he's going to take that stony heart of ours. He's going to give us a heart of flesh, and he's going to put his spirit in us. Go ahead and read. Gazing on the good one, nor was there one among them who did not behold him. Come on. Verse 45. I likewise perceived that the house was large, wide, and extremely full. I saw, too, that a white cow was born, whose horns were great, and that all the beasts of the field and all the birds of heaven were alarmed at him and entreated him at all times. Mm -hmm. Then I saw that the, the white cow represents white garments, clean garments. Go ahead. It says, then I saw that the nature of all of them was changed and that they became white cows and that the first in the midst of them spoke when that word was a wild ox upon the head of that wild ox were great and black horns. Mm. While Yahuwah, hold on. While, while Yahuwah, Yahuwah of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, okay. My page is stuck. Oh, okay. No problem. While Yahuwah of the sheep rejoiced over them and over all the cows. I lay down in the midst of them. I awoke and saw the whole. This is the vision which I saw lying down and waking. <clears throat> then I blessed Yahuwah of righteousness and gave glory to him. Yes. Afterwards, I wept abundantly, nor did my tears cease, so that I became incapable of enduring it. While I was looking on, they flowed on account of what I saw. For all was come and gone by. Every individual circumstance respecting the conduct of mankind was seen by me. Yes. And that night I remembered my former dream and therefore wept and was troubled because I had seen that vision. Yes. My yes. All praise. Wow. Y'all see praises. how the most I be communicating to his people. Yes. I mean, praises. he broke down everything to Enoch. And everything. Vision. And so this is what we're going to Let's mark that chapter. And we're going to go ahead and stop there. And we'll start at 91 next. So I'm going to write that in your notes, Sister Micaiah. Uh, let me go ahead and write that down here real quick. Uh -huh. All right. And put in my journal. Start mm, at Enoch what? 91, we go to next time. Enoch 91. Okay. Right. We finished. Finish Enoch. Enoch. What's today's date? The 18th, 18th uh-huh. We finished Enoch uh, 90. Okay, 90. Chapter 90. Okay, cool beans. All right, War Scrolls. Since we're winding down, you know, I always like us to go ahead and just kind of look at some other books. I'm going to read the War Scrolls. Where did the War Scrolls come from? Well, in 1948, in the Cameroon Caves, or what we would call um, the caves that the Dead Sea Scrolls were found in, these scrolls now we find out that the dead sea scrolls are actually found in america because america is the true old land saying that the war scrolls talks about the sons of light against the sons of darkness and i said that was the sheep that we just read about us israel the 12 tribes against tyre which is rome and also edom so saying that um let's we'll read a little bit and then i'll let my wife read a little bit we'll just take a little turns i want you guys to start getting your books so you get a deeper understanding of things. And so I'm just going to read through some of these books. And I like to just move around so we can kind of put the forward and the ladder together to get a deeper understanding. The Bible says we hear a little and there a little. And in the last days, there'll be many highways of knowledge. The prayer of the chief priest. This is on a 140, page 141 of the War Scrolls. Who is like you, O Yav, Israel, in heaven and on earth, that he can perform like you to do with your great works? and your great strength. Who is like your people, Israel, 
whom you have chosen yourself from all the people of the lands. They are people sanctified by the covenant, learned in the statues, enlightened in understanding. Those who hear the glorious voice and see the holy angels, whose ears open to hearing deep things. O Elohim, you have created the expanse of the skies and the host of the stars, the works of spirits and the domain of the holy ones, the treasures of your glory in the clouds. Do you want to read? Revelation 21, verse 7. Verse he who right. overcomes will inherit all this. And I will be his God and he will be my son. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. That was Revelation 21, verse 7 and 8. As you can see, the Most High spelling out here, who is not going to inherit the kingdom? And so much of this stuff is literally promoted today. Why do you think that is? All right, verse eight, it says, but with the righteous, he will make peace and will protect the elect and mercy shall be on them. And they shall all belong to Yah and they shall prosper and they shall be blessed and the light of Yah shall shine on them. And behold, he comes with 10,000 of his holy ones to execute judgment on all and to destroy all the ungodly and to convict all flesh, to convict all flesh, to convict all flesh yes. of all the works of their ungodliness. Mm -hmm. They have ungodly committed Yes, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Yes. One thing that yes. is, just, is hitting me to point out here, going back up to Revelation 21, verse 7, listed amongst the ones who are going mm -hmm. to be judged and put in the lake of fire are the cowards. Yes. You cannot be serving mm -hmm. the most high and be scared. ashamed and scary. Can't be scared to uh no. make a stand for your beliefs. Because he's not gonna let you because on judgment day, he's gonna say, When that person asked you, Do you believe in me? When that person came to you and said, What faith are you? <clears throat> you knew the truth, but there was no truth in you. I told you to speak up for me. Am I what? My holy name, but you didn't do it. Why? Because you became cowardly. Yes. I don't want cowards in my kingdom. Did he not say that Israel are lion face? Lion face does not mean we look like lions. It means that we had the spirit of a lion. Come on. Lions do not cower. Mm. Lions do not have fear. Lions are made in the express image of the most high. They go into battle and they don't care what. And they tear yes. up and they ravage when they get there. We don't have the spirit of fear. That's why I can't stand a soft man. When I got a man that I know is soft, he don't run his house. He's always wearing pink panties. Can't put his own fruit of balloons on. You understand? He walk around like Tinkerbell. Huh? Then his woman run everything. I can't stand it. Get up. Act like a man. Yes. This is why the women don't respect them. Because they don't have their pants on. They got their panties on. Come on. I feel like the most high. I can't stand and a I soft agree. man. I can't either. Ooh. Well, you ain't get one, girl. Oh. Oh, praise You ain't getting none of that. High. If you're looking for a, a female <laughs> card in my deck, you ain't got one. It's all man here, all praises. All right. I'm on verse eight. Where we it at? says, but with the righteous, he will make peace and will protect the elect and mercy shall be on them. And they shall all belong to Yah and they shall prosper and they shall be blessed. And the light of Yah shall shine on them. And behold, he comes with 10,000 of his holy ones yes. to execute judgment yeah. on all oh, yes. and to destroy all the ungodly. Some of the ungodly? All. All of them. Go ahead. And to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness, yes. which they have ungodly committed, yes. and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken yes. against him. Yes. Revelation 21, verse 23. Revelation the, 21, verse 23. Go ahead. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of Yah gives it light. Come on. That's and that the, new kingdom. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. 
On no day will his gates ever be shut, Our for there will, will be, be no night there. Oh, praise this. Jude 114. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied these things, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints. 15. To execute judgment upon all the con all and to convince all that, that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed. And of all their hard speeches, which the ungodly sinners have spoken against him. That's Jude 114. He who created the earth and the and the and the limits for the divisions into the wilderness and the plains, and autumn, winter, and the spring, and its fruits, and the circle of the seas, sources of the rivers, and the rift of the depths, the wild beasts, and the winged creatures, and from and the form of man, and the great and the generations of his seed the confusions of language and the separation of people, the abode of families which have inheritance in the lands and the holy festivals, courses of the years and the times of eternity. The book of Enoch chapter two. Isn't that something how mm -hmm. this is yes. relating to what we just Everything, studied. it's all, it's, it's spiritual. My all this is just spiritual. You know, and the Lord just told me to read this after I read that. So this is all spiritual. The book of Enoch chapter two. There it is, Enoch. I was reading yeah. it. It says, observe everything that takes place in the sky. Observe everything that takes place where? In the sky. Did we just not have a big eclipse? The Lord says, I want you to observe everything that takes place in the sky. How the lights do not change their orbits, or the luminaries which are in heaven, how they are all rise and set in order, each in the season and proper time, and do not transgress and defy their appointed order. Consider the earth and understand the things Understand the things which takes place in it from the start to finish, how steadfast they are, how none of these things on the earth change, but all the works of Yah appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, and how the whole earth is filled with water, and the clouds and the dew and the rain lie on it. Chapter 3. Observe and see how in the winter, and all the trees seem as though they had withered and, and shed all their leaves except 14 trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain their old foliage from two to three years until the new year comes. So there's 14 trees that don't ever shed. That's pretty deep. The Lord did this. He did, and you can Google that too, which trees these are. Chapter four, and again, observe the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth, and you seek, you seek shade, shade and the shelter because of the heat of the sun. The earth also burns with groaning heat, and so you cannot walk on the earth or on the rocks because of its heat. Go ahead. Chapter 5. It says, observe how the trees are covered with green leaves and how they bear fruit. Understand, know, and recognize that he that lives forever made them this way. So everything we're, you. we're reading is letting you know that you got to recognize the things that the Most High made. You got to see and open your eyes up and say, wait a minute, this can't be the Big Bang Theory. How can you throw a whole bunch of 747 parts into a machine and then all, this, all these different parts come out and then all of a sudden the 747 comes out? No, there had to be a rhyme or reason to this. You cannot have evolution when you got a tadpole. The tadpole becomes a, 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 a fish and the fish becomes a monkey and the monkey becomes a gorilla. The gorilla becomes a man. Well, you, have y'all been living a long time? Have y'all ever seen anything like that? The Lord says in Genesis 1, I mean, it's each species according to his what? Kind. Yes. That's confusion what they're teaching. But the Lord takes that confusion and he throws it to the abyss. Go ahead. But then it says here... He that lives forever made these things this way for who? For us. For us, for our sakes. So we can have dominion over them. We just read this. Man. Go ahead and keep reading. It's all Verse lining two, up. And all his works go on before him from year to year forever. Forever. And all the work and the tasks which they accomplish for him do not change. Okay, somebody just asked, what are we reading? I just felt in the spirit. We're reading the war scrolls. The war scrolls are... From the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's talking about the children of light, who are us, against the children of darkness. And y'all already know who they are. You can just look at their works on the earth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, um, let's see. And all his works go on before him from year to year forever. And all the work and the tasks which they accomplish for him do not change. They don't change. And so is it done. Yes. Consider how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish their course 
do not change because of his commandments. Yeah, because why don't they change? His commandments. So why shouldn't we change? That's right. Because of if, his if, if, if the birds do what he tell them, if the seas do what he tell them, Come on. if the stars do what he tell them, if the moon does what he tell them, mm. if the sun does what he tell them, if the demons do what he tell them, why can't you do what he tells Come you? On. What what did Come um, on. what did Solomon say Come on. to all who was on my spiritual vitamin Come on, man. the other day? We read Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the very last verse he closes with the whole duty of man is to do what is to fear Elohim and to follow, follow his, his commandments. commandments. And they're not what? They're not grievous. Come on. And so everything on earth does what it's telling, even the demons. We're the only ones that transgress. That's right. We're the only ones that transgress. The ones that he called gods and put above everything. Mm -mm. Go ahead. Verse four. But you, you have neither held to nor have you done the commandments of the Lord. He ain't did them. But you have turned away. Did what? Turned away. Go and ahead. Spoken proud and Wait. hard whoa, words whoa. with your unclean mouth. With your what? Unclean mouth. Did he not say it's not the foul what goes into your mouth because it goes out to dry in the toilet? What's the foul is what comes out of your mouth yes. because it manifests from your mind and your heart. You got an unclean mouth. You can't make it into my kingdom. Your heart and your mind ain't right. Because if they was right, your mouth would be clean. Come on. But you ain't had the waters to wash that filth away. Mm. So therefore, from the empty, empty. And the full, From full. the full, full. Go ahead it and says, read. And hard words with your unclean mouths against his greatness. The Torah is done away with. That's Old Testament. I'm a New Testament man. I'm an Old Testament man. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I fall on Sunday. I worship on Sunday. Well, I thought he told us to keep the Sabbath day holy. Well, I, I don't have to worry about that because how do you rob me? You rob me of tithes and offers. Well, Micah verse 1 tells us that they was taking the fewer animals and they was taking the fewer fruit into the temple. And that's how they was robbing the Lord. Yes. It had nothing to do with tithing now because the priests are done away with. So you're not tithing nobody anyway. So where do you get that from? Are you are you serving man or are you serving the most high? It's kind of double tongue too, ain't Come it? Come on, man. This, and one one say, it, say it again. Saying Old the Testament law is done away with Old Testament don't matter except for that. But except for tithing. Come on now. Come on, man. That's why the Lord said the pastors get fed off the sheep. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23, verse 1 said they scatter them. Go ahead, and keep that's reading. why it says right keep here, reading. oh, you hard-hearted, you shall find no peace. They'll find no what? No peace. This is why those who are hard-headed, who are stubborn, they cannot find peace. Every time you turn around, they're on a roller coaster. Come on. They're on a roller coaster. Every day they're in one trial or one tribulation. Can't sleep, this. Babe, and then right. they can't have no sleep. They get two hours of sleep, maybe an hour. The demons wake them up. You understand? Or when they're out and about, the anxiety, all this. Or when they're at work, they always got into it with somebody. It's always somebody. It's always them, but it's never you. Always drama. Because you can never look yourself in the mirror and accept who you are. Mm. Keep reading, please. Therefore shall you curse your days, and the years of your life shall perish. And Come on. the years of your destruction shall be multiplied. Somebody asked me, when is Jacob's trouble? Did you just hear what she said? <laughs> Therefore, because you don't follow my laws, because you in darkness... And because you refuse to listen to me, he says, did you, did you, read the last part again. Therefore, the what? years of your destruction shall be multiplied. Uh, hold on. Let me no, start. No, no. Hold on. Therefore, shall you curse your days yes. and the years of your life shall perish. Yes. And the years of your destruction shall be multiplied. There'll be what? Multiplied. This is why we've had 3,000 years where we lost so many people. Folks, we was about almost 280, 300 million people. We was numerous as the sands of the sea. See. But now, because we went away from the Lord, we stopped following his covenant. You understand? What was the first law? Thou shalt not eat of the what? Tree of good and evil. He gave it from getting. Adam fell into what? Gross darkness. So when we don't follow his laws, what are we falling to? Gross darkness. Yeah. For 3,000 years, we've been in darkness. That's why we've lost over 200 some million people. Or we just a remnant. Jacob has had his trouble. Yeah. Jacob has had his trouble. Jacob has had his trouble. Jacob's trouble is over unless Jake is acting like the snake. Come on. Then he still got trouble tenfold, fifty, and a hundredfold because he said, I'm starting my house first. Watch out now. Come on. My Let's goodness. keep going. All praise All right. Don't worry about that, mama. Back on TikTok. Oh, okay. All praise All right. Go it ahead, says. Sweetheart. You want me to read something? You got it. I Where got you it. Okay, go ahead. It All says, right. 
Um, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied and in an eternal curse, you shall find no mercy. Any what? No mercy. What is an eternal curse? That means that you're going to be riding that river of sulfur for how long? A long time. Forever. Eternally. Eternally. All right. Where we at, Sister Kai? Let me get back on your page. Okay. It's not okay. necessary, but okay. Go ahead. It says, in those days, you shall make your names an eternal curse to all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse. Yes. And all the sinners and godless shall yes. curse you forever. Yes. And for you, the godless, there shall be a curse. Yes. And all the elect shall rejoice. And all elect shall be what? Rejoice. We're going to rejoice. That's if you are what? Righteous. righteous, you will rejoice. But if you're unrighteous, you're going to burn. When the fire hits this earth, when, see, everybody keeps thinking nuclear waste, nuclear weapons, nuclear weapons. The Lord ain't letting this place be destroyed by nuclear weapons. He's going to dismantle those weapons. He's going to purify this earth with 98% pure sulfur with fire and brimstone from the heavens, just like he did Sodom and Gomorrah. He's going to sterilize this place. Why? Because he's going to make a new earth and a new heaven. And he cannot bring anything righteous to an unrighteous place. Go ahead. All right. It says, verse 7, And all the elect shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and mercy, and peace, and forbearance, so and joy. all the elect shall rejoice, because there's going to be forgiveness of what? Sins, sins. And mercy. And mercy. And peace, peace. And what else? Forbearance. Come on. What else? And joy. And joy will happen with our people. He said the men's will be in the streets, the old men with staffs in their hands. You understand? And that the young people are going to be running around rejoicing. You know, when they made that movie Wakanda, they was really talking about us. That's all it was. But it was talking, but they mixed it up. They started showing ancestral worship. You understand? They showed you the spiritual realm, how you fly into that place. That's the Garden of Eden. But then they also mixed it up and started showing you ancestral worship where the path was jumping off the tree and the people. Then they, they'll show you some truth. But then they'll give you the lies. And that's the deception. That's the deception. Truth mixed with lies. There it goes. Where we at? It says, and all the elect shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and mercy, and peace, and forbearance, and joy. There shall be salvation for them. Yes. Like and a good light. But it says the elect. What does elect mean? You're what? Chosen. Mm -hmm. Many are called, but few are what? Chosen. Chosen. That means you're elected. You came, you heard. And then you ended up being a doer of the word instead of here. Instead of you mean a hearer. Or, excuse me, you sort of hear. Well, you became a doer. You can hear the word all day, but if you ain't doing it, it don't mean nothing. What does it mean if you hear it? Yeah. But you're not doing anything about it. You understand? Did not Lord say give the poor, the weak, the widow, the homeless? But a lot of people they walk by these people. Mm -hmm. Didn't he say visit your brother and sister when they're in the hospital? A lot of people jail. or in the jail, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't do it. He's talking about doers of the word. Yeah, these are the ones who are gonna make it into the kingdom, right? Go ahead. It says, and for all of you sinners, there shall be no salvation, but be, on yes. you all shall abide a curse. Yes, but for the elect, there shall be light and joy and peace, yeah, and they shall inherit the earth, yes, and then wisdom shall be given to the elect. Who's gonna be what's gonna be given? wisdom that's that heart he's going to take away and give us a heart of flesh and put his spirit in us that's that wisdom that's why we have no part of the second resurrection all those who are in ezekiel 34 when he tells you the whole house we raised up he's going to give us a new heart and a new spirit and once we get that spirit we'll never go back to where we were so that's why we have no part of the second resurrection why because we'll be mortal we'll be uncorruptible it's beautiful where we at Nine, and then wisdom shall be given to the elect, and they shall all live and never again sin. Why? Because it's going to be what? Forgetfulness or through pride. Come on now. But those who are Wait a minute, wait a minute. How do we sin? How do we sin now? Through what? Forgetfulness. We forget who we are, and we forget that we are kings and priests, and what is the other one? Or through pride. That's why we just did Come seven on, days David. of unleavened bread. That's so much confirmation. You hear I this? Was just you hear this? this you hear this? This is spiritual oh, because of the Lord said you must be humble. You sure say, unless you become like one of these children, you can't get in the kingdom. Yeah. That's that pride. Too many people think they got it. They know the word, but they haven't read the forward and the latter to get understanding. Well, we Remember are. the other day I was saying too, why, uh -huh. does this, why do the scriptures repeat so many things so Come many on. times? Because he's nailing it. He's a nail. Because he, forgetful. Because he's a nail in your hand. He's nailing it home. So you don't forget. So you don't forget. 
That's why Yahuwah means he who breathes life, nail in hand. He's nailing it over and over and over till you stuck. You can't be moved this way or that way. You can only have your eye on one path. This is what he's doing. He's nailing this home. Mm -hmm. He's implanting his nail in us. Come on. That's what he's doing right now. Where it says, at? but those who are given wisdom shall be humble. There it goes. I just said that. There it goes. You got to be meek. You got to be humble. But he said, those who give, who's going to be humble? Those who give him wisdom. You know, when you deal with people who are doctors and professors and all, they're prideful. Yes, they are. They don't have wisdom. They got knowledge of this world, which is what? Foolishness. Because everything they teach you is a bunch of bull hockey. That's why it's foolishness. But those who are humble will inherit the earth. Where we at? Verse 10. Go ahead. And they shall not again transgress, nor shall they sin all the days of their life. Yes. Nor shall they die of the anger or wrath of Yah. But no. they shall complete the number of the days of their lives. Yes. And their lives shall be increased in peace. Yes. And their years will grow in joy and eternal gladness yes. and peace. All the days of their lives. All praises to the most high. All praises now. You guys can get the war scrolls. You can get these war scrolls on what we would call the audible. Or you can get the hard copy. I always get the audible, but I always get the hard copy as well. Why? Because we know it's going to be a time where we may not have those things that are digital. But we always will have mm -hmm. the written word. You understand? And these were given us by the Essenes. The Essenes were appointed by King Solomon. He appointed the Essenes. He stripped out the first set of priests. We know that these are the men who gave us the Dead Sea Scrolls. So this is telling you all about the battles that we'll be doing, all about how we will walk, who will be saved, and who will not. All praise to the Most High. So much confirmation So much confirmation. Today. It's a, just a lot, you know, and it's spiritual. When I got this book, you know, I told my wife, we're going to read it. She said, what do you read? I said, well, Lord, going to give it to him. But he told me to go to this book. Now, as we're reading it, it totally lines up what we just read in Enoch, 100%. All praises. I'm gonna turn comments on. Um, I'm turn, well, let me say a prayer first before we turn comments on, please, Sister Mikai. Okay. The Heavenly Father, heaven, blessed be you, Adonai Yahuwah. Thank you so much, Father, for bringing us together in your presence. You said when we come to you, Father, as one body, one mind, and one spirit. Thank you, Abba, for being that head. Thank you for making us the part of the body, Heavenly Father. Thank you for giving us our gifts. And for those who don't have their gifts, Heavenly Father. I pray that you continue to fill their vessels yes. and then show them their gifts, Father. I pray that you let them know that we are a nation of kings and priests, that we are the anointed. We are the ones, Heavenly Father, that the animals, the stars, the trees, the birds, all that you put dominion under our feet, Father. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you show your people your power and your power through them by their ways. I pray, Heavenly Father, as we go through our days and our nights, that you give us peace when we sleep. That anything that abides or try to stall your children's sleep, that you cast those demons in the abyss. I pray, Heavenly Father, as a collective, as our people, that we pray for each other. And we pray to cast all these demons and evil spirits away as a family. Because we are the Nephilim slayers, Heavenly Father. And the demons are nothing but Nephilim spirits. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you put that Rowak Kodesh in us 20-fold. In these times, Heavenly Father, we need it so that we, Heavenly Father, can be a battle axe against the evil on this earth mm -hmm. so we can avenge you in your holy name. For you are the light, Heavenly Father, in a dark place. For you, Heavenly Father, are the winds that breathe upon us on the hot days. For you, Heavenly Father, are the ones who give us water when we thirst. For you, Heavenly Father, give us food, heavenly food, spiritual manna when we hunger. And Father, right now we're hungry. I pray that you pour that manna down from heaven with abundance, Heavenly Father. I pray that you keep it, Father, unceasingly. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the blessings that you've given us. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you keep, keep pouring your blessings on your children, for we are the lost sheep. But, Heavenly Father, no longer will we say we're the lost sheep, because now we know we are found. We know that we're walking in the light. We know we're walking, Heavenly Father, with those precious waters around us, washing our white garments clean. Bless you, Abba. Bless you for the holy words. Bless you for the prophecy that you gave a long time ago that you would come save us. Thank you for the promise. And thank you, Father, for taking the curses off of us and putting it on these strange heathens. Bless you, Abba. And I pray that you guard our souls. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that we're found worthy on Judgment Day. I pray these things in the name of your son, our king and our precious sure, I pray. Amen. Amen. All praise Amen. to the most high. Amen.
Um, okay, one moment. Okay. All right, one moment here. Let me turn these settings on here. And let's see what we got here. One one moment here. My wife will be right back to get some of these questions. All righty, one moment here. Let's see what we got. All praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. Um, it's been a really, really good lesson here. And I really appreciate everyone who um, is here with us. And the reason that we're here, the reason that we come together, and this is it's paramount. There's so long that we've been in dark. There's so long we've been thinking that we're the downtrodden, that we're from Ham and we're cursed. But now that we're waking up to who we are and learning that the Holy Spirit, the Rowak Kodesh, is what comes into us and what keeps us walking straight, that we no longer are under the letter of the law because the letter of the law was a curse. That was Old Testament. The letter of that law was simply made to give us a blueprint on how we should walk. But we could not follow it because we didn't have conviction. But now we got the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, that Yeshua left for what? Three days or 3,000 years in the belly of the earth. He left it for us. Why? So it could convict us to walk right, to talk right, to look right. What does that mean, look right? That means even when you walk on these streets, you should be an example of the nation of Israel. Folks, oh, see your light. You need to have people say that one more time, Sister McCall. Oh, see the light on you. We need to make sure that everyone sees our light. Why? Because by us shining bright, that means that the Lord will hasten these times even quicker to gather yes, us. Indeed. This is why we all need to pray as a nation together. We need to pray that the Lord comes gather us and forgive us of all our sins we've been doing. Because I'm telling you something. I remember the 80s and the 90s. Man, we've been some horrible people. We've been doing things because we were taught wrong. Then we were also chemically neutralized with cocaine and all these other drugs that these nations gave to us to keep us in sin so they can stay in power longer. But see, they know not the ways of the Most High. So the Most High takes every sword that they create and he turns it on them. Mm -hmm. He turns it on them. Remember, and I'll say this again, when they gave us the swine flu, that was created in 1871 in the Kentucky military base. It was designed to get rid of the indigenous people, the Indians. But what happened? Well, they ended up catching it. Most of the YT people caught it and they became what color? Black. Black. See, the Lord makes mockery of them. He makes mockery of them. You want to kill my children. You should have learned from the past. Every time you kill them, they just increase and multiply. This is why right now, you, do you guys and gals know that Israel has more twins than any other nation, period, mm -hmm. on earth? Do you know that we're more fertile than any other people on earth? That's why we became news of the sands of the sea. They became jealous of us, of us. This is why whenever we will rebuild the temple, they come together and they come together collectively as a confederacy to stop it. But the Lord says that they cannot stop what? The building of this temple, the last temple, the third temple. We are the holy temple. We are the elect. We are the anointed. And nobody, nobody can stop what's going on right now. This is a spirit that's doing this. The Most High is lifting his children up. And he's got fear in these other nations because they know what they've done to us. And there's judgment on them. Yes. They know there's judgment there. And they know, and not only that, it said that Esau Eden would be embarrassed what he did to his brother. Think about how right now, where these YT people never used to speak to us. Now, every time you turn, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Now they want to speak to us. Now a lot of them are saying, hey, why don't you guys join? We all need to stick together. Now you want to stick with us. Now the judgment's on the earth. Mm -hmm. But I remember for a long time, we couldn't get y'all to even give us a coat. A long time, we could not get fair housing. A long time, we could not get loans. A long time, you understand, we could not get reparations for the things that are due to us. Why? Because of your pride. But your pride has given a stumbling block before you. Now your pride has laid open an open sepulcher. Now you're getting ready to lay in it. You went ahead and you messed with the Lord's precious jewelry. You shouldn't have done that. You should have never touched us. The book of Obadiah said you should have never waited at the gates. You should have never waited when the substance of Israel was given away. And you shouldn't have been as one of them. Now there's a judgment. You're going to see your children dash against the wall. You're going to see your women ravaged and raped. We're not doing it. But the other nations are going to do it. We're holy people. We don't rape. But we do kill. We do take flee. We do kill and we do steal. Why do you say steal? A lot of people say steal, but we're not stealing anything. We're just taking back what belongs to us. We are battle axe. And that battle axe is about to be activated. 
Why do you think they put Planned Parenthood in our neighborhoods? Why do you think every time you turn around, they're trying to give our children, especially the males, a new medicine at 16, 17, they become mental. And the next thing you know, they're talking to themselves. Hmm? They did this because they know that these are the same ones they got to mm -hmm. do battle against. But every time they take out one, seven more heads pop up. Hmm? They make the movie. They call it Hydra. They look at it, but they think of us. Because every time they take out one of us, we get seven more. I got 32 grandchildren by the grace of the most high and one more on the way. So what I'm saying to you, this is prophetic. The Lord says when a man lays or a woman lays good seeds, that seed multiplies what? A hundredfold, fiftyfold, and tenfold. It multiplies. I'm a living witness of this. When you walk right, talk right. Even though I lost two children, you understand, I gained many more. And in the kingdom, in the new world, we're going to see them all again. See, we got a resurrection getting ready to happen. We're going to see all of our loved ones. The whole house of Israel is going to be resurrected. You're going to see all your loved ones resurrected. If they was righteous, even if they was ignorant, the Lord's going to judge them in righteousness. Because a lot of them died in ignorance, but he's our father. And I'm going to ask you a question. When you have a dad and you do something stupid, and you know you've done it because you're out of ignorance, does he totally destroy you or does he spank you, chastise you? We've been chastised. We've been under the rod. But right now, he's taking us from under the rod right now. And what he's doing is building us up. Yeah. You see, in order to have a nation, you have to have families. Families are building blocks of a nation. Yeah. So he's building his families back again. That's why we got a lot of couples here now. That's why we got a lot of 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 8-year-olds. All, age all ages. 78-year-olds, 60, 90. People from UK, from Britain, Brazil. From the Bahamas, from Israel, from Palestine, from Africa. Man, They're reaching out from all moving. over. His hand is moving. Why? Because this is the time of the harvest. That eclipse just told us that judgment is coming. When we're supposed to be lying to Nineveh, what was it for? It's to let everybody know to repent of your sins. That's what eclipse came for. Clarion call. It's a My sign. Goodness. And the trumpets have been blowing. They've been hearing the bugles, the trumpets all over the earth been blowing. They've been blowing. The Lord let everybody know that judgment is coming. Then there's weird sounds in the air like lions and animals. Why? And it's eerie because that's the sound they're going to hear when judgment comes. Mm. They're going to hear the animals. They're going to hear the trees. They're going to hear the wind. They're going to hear the tornadoes. They're going to hear everything. Just like when Judah, Simeon, and Levi, and Book of Jasher, when they went before the Pharaoh, when they start roaring, because we are lions, we're going to roar. Mm. It says they sound like seas. They sound like lions. They sound yes. like everything that brings death. Mm. One man brought death, but only mm. one is coming to bring it back. Hallelujah. Well, y'all understand? And we are that battle axe to assist him. Yes. We are the elect. We are the anointed. And we are awake. Now that we are awake, the northern southern tribe, the two witnesses, these nations are afraid. But now we're rejoicing. We see all this with Putin and them, you know, and all these, you know, the Chinese over there. And then we see also the Arabs over here. We see all this going on. And they all want us to join them. But we're like, oh, no, we ain't joining y'all. Did y'all join us when we were being hung? Mm -hmm. Did y'all join us when they was killing our babies and cheating the alligator bait? Did y'all join us? You're taking off the, when you do that, you're taking off the channel. Oh, my bad. Sister Makaya. When y'all, no, you may not, when you do yeah, there you go. Oops, when y'all, when, when we was going through all our turmoil and losing our people left and right, as a matter of fact, you even went deeper. You told the women that if you have a man in the house, that we can't give you any money. So then you kick the fathers out of the house. When you kick the fathers out of the house, who start raising our young men? The government. The government start raising our young men. And then when they get grown, who do they end up going back to? Their daddy, the government. Yeah. You call them prisons. And then you start making a shekel off of them. Do you, do you guys understand that the same people who own all the music industry, all the ones who own all the record houses, they're the same ones who own the prison houses too. That's right. They're the same exact people. Are y'all putting two and two together and coming up with four? Or are you coming up with 66? Mm. I hope you're getting this. I hope y'all understand who you are. I hope you understand that the Lord is waking us up right now. We're not afraid. He's coming like a thief in the night. He said they'll be they'll be calm right before what? The storm. Right before the storm. It says when they say there's peace, there's sudden what? Destruction. See, there's peace right now, but that's going to be sudden destruction. You know, when I sit there and hear these Israel say they're going to go ahead and bomb Iran, I kind of smile because 
I know the heart's been hardened because they have no common sense. They're not thinking whatsoever. How can you have the Houthis who they have not been able to beat whatsoever in any war? And they're a small faction. They're only like 10% compared to Iran. Mm -hmm. You can't even beat them. Then on top of that, America does not even have the weapons. We've sent so many weapons to Ukraine now. It's to the position where we don't really have a lot of weapons. And so saying that, we can't even really fight a war. You think Iran's stupid? Do you understand why they sent 300 and some odd rockets out? They had to draw their weapons out. They want to deplete them. But then, they also were showing them mm -hmm. we can touch you. No, we no we your no. missile defense systems don't work. We can hit wherever we want. And we did touch you, mm -hmm. but they're not showing the military base. Oh, they didn't touch our bases. Well, show us, show us, because I got footage where the bombs four of them hit mm -hmm. because they're hypersonic missiles. They have nothing to fight them. They have nothing to, to, to interact with them. Not only that, they've become more advanced. They got missiles now that move out of the way and do alternative route. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know this. So what Iran did was they found out their weaknesses. They shot them off. They said, we're going to test their defenses. When we test their defenses, this is, look at me. I, I'm a man of the most high. And one thing about the man of the most high, I know exactly how I would do it. One thing I would do is I would be building for years. They would never know why, because I've been doing it underground, just like Iran, just like Russia. Another thing I would do is this. I would test their defenses. I would throw out all my old stuff. I would not throw out anything new, and I would not show them my cards. See, they didn't show any of their new weaponry. What they did was use old weapons with a little bit of new technology on them. This is what you do. You draw your enemy in. Hmm? Art of war. Folks, I want you to understand everything that's being done right now is fulfilled biblical prophecy. Yes, indeed. And we're getting ready to be saved, but we cannot be saved until the battle commences. So while they're worried about the battle, we're rejoicing because we know he says that we're going to be a brand plucked out of this fire and Come the fire on. is coming. Say it's it coming. Again. But we're that brand that's going to be plucked out. Mm. We're the Lord's precious what? Jewelry. Jewelry. Mm. Hitler said it in mind come. Y'all not know who you're dealing with? The general said, what do you mean? Those are the Jews. You mean the Negroes, the Blacks, the Colors, the african American? They're not African. That's what you've been told. They're the original people of America. They are the ancient people. They're the Lord's precious jewelry. What do you think they, that the Lord is going to do to them when, when, he, when they realize that they actually was killing his children? He said, they're going to look at me differently. They're not going to look at me the same and say that I did this. Now, he was a tyrant. He was a murderer. We know this. But at the same time, he had to feel biblical prophecy, just like we're fulfilling it right now by waking up and telling everybody that Messiah is coming, telling everybody that Yahuwah is real, telling everybody that we're children of the promise, telling everybody that he's going to come like a thief in the night. And you better repent of your sins, yeah. just like Noah did, just like Methuselah did. But they only did it for 120 years. And after that time, the floods came. And what happened? People knocked on the boat. And when they knocked on the boat, Noah said this. No, now you want to get on the boat. Right. Now you want to act right that the rains are here. Just because dew only came on earth, you didn't believe me. Even though you see the works and the miracles I've done on this earth as a king, a priest, and a prophet, you still don't believe me. Now you want to get on the boat. It's too late. It's too late. And when they tried to get on the boat, guess what? The animals that were left out attacked them. Hmm? So when we get the ships of Tarshish, when the chariots come down and they try to rush on the boats and try to rush on the arch, who are you think going to attack them? Did he not say it's the feast of the birds? The animals going to attack them again because they're going to try to follow us. There's too many unrighteous. But we're going to have some, as Zechariah 8.23 says, mm -hmm. of 10 men of every nation, of every nation going to take hold of the skirt of what? A Jew. And say, we're going to go with you because we know yes. the Lord is with you. You yes. see, they seeing yes. right now who's been ripped away on this earth. They're seeing right now who's been built up. See, they're all walking around in fear, but they're looking at us and saying, wow, these people rejoice and they're praising the Lord. They're not even scared. Not only that, they're breaking this Bible down where we can even understand it because I didn't even understand it. Now I'm realizing I've inherited lies from my forefathers. Yeah. As Wisdom Solomon said they would. They're going to be embarrassed at what they did to us. And this is where they are right now. Yes, this is why we need to be where we at right now in his house. His holy house. How do you get in his house? By that word. How do you get in his house? By the Rowak Okadesh. How do you get in his house? By well, washing your garments clean with these living waters, which we call 
the word because it was given to us for these times. All praises. Do you have any questions? The Holy Spirit let me talking for a minute. All praises. I just at? see a whole bunch of Where all praises to the, this is the Holy Spirit had me talking. Hallelujah. Great Holy Spirit. Spirit filled. All Lesson. praises. All praise the most. Now, high. this sister here, yes. uh, Rhonda Fanny on yes. Facebook, she sent a message just elaborating more on Diablo. Okay. What is she saying? Go ahead. Uh, Diabella, I mean. Diabella. That was the one we were trying to rig out. We said that. Um, the try to, to attack them no matter what who was leading uh -huh. over us. Says, this comes from a translation of what might actually be the oldest prophecy in the world, apparently okay. describing our time. Yes. The eagle is the instructor to the other birds of prey we already know who, who attack is. targets, including sheep and lambs. Right. Could it not be describing surveillance aircraft? Passing All of that, everything. Well, because you got to remember, I, uh, Israel is the. They said they are the masters of what surveillance. Mm -hmm. This is why America has been following them and doing what they say. Why? We can remember Hoover. How did Hoover take control? Hoover had film on everybody. Right. The only people who that could not that didn't he didn't mess with was the mob. Why? Because the mob know he was a transgressor. They knew that. They knew that, that he was a crossdresser. And they knew his lifestyle. So the mob had footage on him, so he could not do nothing against them. But all the presidents and all, he had video footage on him. Dr. King, he had video footage on him. All these people out there, he had control because he had footage. They just reinvented the wheel. That's all they did. They got footage on all these pedophiles. They got footage on all these, these um, defiled people who are evil. They got footage on these people who, who take humans and use them as food. Yeah. They got footage on this stuff. Sure they are masters of surveillance. Mm -hmm. And China has footage also. Why? Because all your televisions come from where? The televisions, China. the phones. The phones. They got chips the in every one. Period. You leaving watching. your television plugged in at night. You got a smart TV. Right. That smart television is watching everything you do and recording everything you do. The iPhone taking pictures of you. The every iPhone. Every so many seconds. Google it. Taking pictures. If you have this phone at you, what is it doing? Every few seconds, what is this phone doing? It's taking a snapshot of you. Why? Because look at the back of it. What does it have? A bitten apple. Where did we get that from? In the beginning. Transgressing the laws. Right there. Folks, I want y'all to understand something. At no point in time on earth have we ever, ever been tempted like we are today. At no time in earth did you have a Ouija board right in your hand. Hmm? The prophets could not go sit and sit, look at Instagram and then naked women popping up. The prophets could not sit and get on Snapchat, Instagram, and do all of this. The prophets could not sit and then make one call and be somewhere in a minute and then go get on the plane. There's nowhere possible in time yeah. that we or man has ever been tempted like this last generation. Mm -hmm. This is why the Lord said, blessed are those who make it to the end. Yeah. Why? Because you've been tempted more than anybody else on earth. Why do you think Enoch was taken into the heavens? Because when he was on the earth, he was tempted like man. But one thing about him, he lived a righteous life. So therefore, yes. the Lord put him above the angels in heaven because they were not tempted. So what do you think your glory is going to be with all this temptation if you surpass? Hmm? You surpass all the elders, all the others in the past. That's Why? Right. Because they have not been tested like you. So your light is going to be brighter in the new kingdom. Yes. Everyone going to know how righteous you are by the love of your light. That's why you can't even look in Yeshua's face because he's the yes. most righteous. That's a light you can't even look at. Mm. I want y'all to get this. This is spiritual. This is biblical. This is not racism. This is not being arrogant. This is not being prideful. This is just biblical. And we're reading these scriptures to give it to yes, you. Yes, indeed. All praise. The Holy Spirit in me tonight. I'm telling you right now. I feel, I feel the most high with me. Yes, 1,000. Yeah. He's telling me what to say, how to break these parallels down, what they mean in the carnal Old Testament and what they mean in the spiritual New Testament. That's right. Without the old, you cannot have the new. Old Testament is the bones. New Testament is the, is the flesh. Yes. Sinews, tendons. And when you get both of them, now you get the four winds into you. You are those dry bones that walk. Mm. Most high is making it plain. Making it plain. Man makes it confusing. Come on. But the Lord tells you, 1 Corinthians 14, 33, I'm not the author of what? Confusion. I'm not the author of confusion. All praises. He is taking those shackles away. that religion and Rome and these oppressors take them away. put on our minds. He's taking them off completely. He says, Man. I'm going to take that yoke on your neck. 
Y'all remember the slave pictures? Come on. What do we have? They had our, our men were in big old yes. yokes on their necks. Yes. He said, I'm going to take that yoke yes. off. I'm going to put my yoke on. Yes. Not only is not heavy, because those are some heavy yokes, but he says, not grievous. He said, not only is going to heal you, but I'm going to give you peace in the midst of all this turmoil. When everybody has got hell around you, you're going to have peace. Oh, crazy. This is what he's saying to us. This is why right now, when we come back to this world, we got peace while everybody else is scared. Yeah. You only have fear when you're ignorant. Ignorance simply means you just don't know. You're unlearned. Mm -hmm. You've been reading one precept and running with it. You've been sitting in these churches. You've been sitting in these synagogues. You've been sitting in all these different doctrines which you have not had your eye what? Single. So you could not. If you have an eyes not single, how can you ever keep your eye on the prize? Yeah. If your eye is over here and over there, how can you keep it on the prize? Now we got an eye on the prize. But the difference is we understand how to get that prize. Where before we was ignorant. We was dumb. Deaf. Couldn't speak. How can you speak of things you don't know about? Couldn't see. How can you see of things that you don't have no hope for? What is faith? The sort of things hoped for, but what? Yet not Yet seen. not seen. Mm. Pretty deep. Somebody asked, why oh, isn't crazy. Enoch in the Bible? Uh, we we well, actually folks, showed that. Well, Enoch <laughs> is not. Okay, let's give it. Let me break it down. Yeah. You had the Council of Nicaea. Okay, Constantine. Constantine broke the game and took our books. Enoch was in the original. But constant, remember, Abraham read Enoch. All the, all the prophets read about Enoch. When you read them, they'll tell you about Enoch. Even Jude, Jude references, references that Enoch has a testimony. Come on. So <laughs> so what we're saying is, it was, okay, let me ask you a question. You ask, why is Enoch not in the Bible? For a long time, why is it that you were told you were black? For a long time, why was you told you colored? For a long time, why was you told you from Ham? For a long time, how was you told that you were one of the Indians? That you were just a, a person who came from Africa, not understanding that you're the original Americans. For a long time, we've been told, you understand, that we can eat pork, shrimp, scallops. We can eat lobster, not understanding that it's an abomination to the Lord. And, then, and when you go to Isaiah 66, he said he's going to kill us for eating that stuff. They want to keep us asleep. They want to keep us asleep. That's why Enoch's in there. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the slave Bible? Come on. I mean, even New back King James. Then, new King James is a slave Bible. Come on. <laughs> your New King James is your slave Bible. The King James 1611 is the Bible of the Jews. They want to keep the cataracts on your eyes. That's come on. Say it one more time. Three, three, three. They, they want, want to keep to them keep cataracts, cataracts on your eyes so you can't see. Did I not say when you get this word that the Lord says eyes are 10,000 times brighter than what? The, the sun. sun. What does the sun do to your eyes when you would look at it deeply? It burns the cataracts and it burns all that stuff away. So A white witnesses. So you can see what? You Come can see clearly. Now. Oh, phrases. Did you not say the sun has what? Healing rays. Yes. But when the pandemic came, what did they tell us to stay out of what? Stay out of the sun. Don't even go to the beach. Mm. They don't want you to understand that you are the real Superman and Superwoman. Come on now. What is Superman's father's name? L. L means one. They took the most high's name, Yahuwah. Mm. And what does Superman do in order to heal? He goes to the sun. Come on. Does not the sun give us vitamin D? It's not the sun the Lord told us gave healing rays. When you walk in the sun and you exercise, you're healing your body. Oh, we, and then not only that, the you, not only that, what does the sun represent with us? With children of what? The light. <laughs> so we walk in the light. We do not walk in the dark. That's right. All praise to the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a very spiritual filled lesson. All praise Ooh. to the most high. Thank you, know, you, Father. All praises. Someone says, you, you man, you man 26 say the sun causes skin cancer. On white tea people, it do. Right. It don't on cause skin cancer on people. us. It causes cancer on those people who have leprosy, permanent leprosy. The unclean. The unclean, it causes cancer. But the clean, the children of the light. Man, it feeds us. We can't get no skin cancer. I can sit in the sun for 52 hours and the sun only lasts for what? Huh? 12 hours. I can sit there all day. All I'm going to do is get darker. That's right, Sabrina. We it can't get... We, come on, it feeds us. Come on. Why do you think that the military is taking melanin and they're doing it and use it as a weapon? Yeah. What we have is way precious, more precious than gold. That's right. When you weigh melanin, I think gold is 400 something ounce. Melanin is what, a thousand some dollars an ounce or more? What we have is more precious than gold. They buy it. Why do you think everyone wants to be us? 
Why do you think everyone emulates us? Because we are the salt of the earth. If we don't salt it, it will have no flavor. Come on, man. Math, science, literature. Beethoven was black. Abraham Lincoln was black. Christopher Columbus was black or Jew. He was a Jew. Everything we've been told is a lie. Do you know that the first seven presidents were black? But they'll never tell you that. Why? Because this was all inhabited by indigenous people. We we're called Indians. Malcolm X said we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Dr. King said we exiled in our own land. That nigga got to go. He got to go. He talking too much. He was working for us. Now he over there. You know why he did that? Because he said, I feel like I'm leading my people into what? A burning house. I got to change my ways. He had a visitation from the Most High. He said, I've been to the mountaintop. I've been there. But I ain't going to get there with you. Why he said I'm not going to get there with you? Because he know he sold his soul to the Zionist Jews. Dr. King, that's not even their real name. That name was given them so by the, the Zionists. That's not their name. So he was a it? puppet. He was an atheist in the beginning. He didn't really believe in religion. But later on, he saw that the things he was reading was real. He had an epiphany. And he said, now... I was doing these people's will, but now I'm realizing that I'm leading my people to a burning house. So that's why when he went into the hospital, he wasn't dead. He didn't die. He didn't lose the ghost until when? They smothered him. That's why they were sued. Why did they smother him and spit on him? Because you turned on us. You was doing our will, and now you're doing what we told you not to do. One thing about Edom, the Lord said that no matter where he goes, this is what Isaac told Esau. He says, I'm going to let you lead first, but wherever you go, you're going to be a terror and a dread on the whole earth. And everybody's tired of the terror and they're tired of them being a dread. And now nobody's afraid of them no more. Are y'all afraid of them anymore? No. Nope. I know the hell I ain't afraid of them, period. I, I'm, I'm from a wish you would nation. Come over this way if you want to with that foolishness. I'm Jacob's son. This is not the time to mess with us right now. He's raising us up. And if you want to come into this house, you better come prepared, brother or sister, because if you are not a Jacobite and you coming over here with that BS, I'm going to cut you with the word of my mouth. Not only that, the Lord gave us other things, too. Did he not call us his battle axe? This is not the time to mess with us. It's not the time to mess with us. If we took out 25 nations with, with who? Moses. We took out 25. Joshua. 31. He took out 31 nations. Guess what most of them were? Giants. Hmm. Why do you think they hide the bodies in America of the giants? Because who are the original Americans who killed them? We are. Yes. Israel. We're the Nephilim killers. Oh, praise They don't want you to know that the spirits that are left on the earth are Nephilim spirits. And that if you killed the giants that caused them, do you not think these demons are not afraid of you? They know you killed the body. So they know you can kill the spirit. Yes. I want y'all to feel me on this. We I are Nephilim you. killers. These demons have no power over us unless we give them that power by what? The things we do. Yes. We're children of the light. We have no part of darkness. The darkness only comes on us when we depart from the light. All praise the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I'm going to close on that note. Thank you all for joining us now. We got a couple announcements. Um. Well, in March, April, well, we're in April, May, well, in March, these months be falling together here. So right now, what we're doing, we're in April. So May the 19th, we're shooting for, let me see, that's on a Sunday, right? May the 19th, we're shooting to feed the homeless. So we always ask anybody can help us out with volunteering to come out and help. We had a great turnout the last time. Thank you for those who have donated already. Yeah, thank you for those who have donated some money already. Thank you guys mm -hmm. so much. Um, but we need plenty, we need monies to help out and we need clothes. And we're going to give out shoes if you guys have any. Um, you can meet us here in Atlanta. And if you got clothes and shoes, I'm going to put them on a the trailer because we found a lot of men needed shoes and clothing. The women more so sanitary items they needed. Um, if you guys got $5, $10, $20, anything to donate, we really appreciate it. Moderators, if you can go ahead and put the cash app up, the Zelle up, I appreciate it because we need to get these monies up to get the things. Last time it went very well. We had plenty of food. We fed 175 people. Or so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. So it went very well. So whatever you guys can do, we appreciate it. And what we do with monies is that we even got some people who don't have money and they're going through something. If we got it, we give to them. Um, some people, you understand, 
I hate to say it, it's real sad, but some people side the road sometimes are really hungry and begging and people walk past or ride past them. You know, I try to make sure I keep a little provision for anybody who asks something. Now, I can't feed the whole world. Of course not. We'll be broke. But what I do is try to set a certain amount aside for the poor. You can't take the monies that are given and start doing servile things. Some people say, hey, oh, brother, oh, we're sending you money for you and Sister Micaiah, or this is for Passover, or this is for the hungry. So what we do is we delegate that money. Now, of course, some of the money is given to us, I still give to the poor because that's alms. Alms atones for sin. It's the only way to atone for sin when you read the Bible. There's no other way. The only way you can atone for your sins is to give to the poor, the weak, the widow, the homeless, the fatherless, and the motherless. Then the Lord said that balances the scale. So it's not going to balance it, but it will move it. Somebody's mm -hmm. asking for the ministry address. Yeah. So let me, um, Go ahead and give it that ministry address. You got it. And please send it exactly as I put it in here because uh, um, otherwise it's going to be an issue picking it up. Yeah, the the ministry address. Um, what do you put you it in? It. Which one? I'm on um, YouTube. Um, can you moderators put this in for me? Um, for the ministry address, and you need to make anything out to. Um, how do you want to make if they make it a check or how are you doing that? Um, no, they're sending clothes. Okay, I okay. Pref we prefer that you uh, clothes send money electronically or we not. Still are setting up a trust. Yeah, for the name. Yeah, that's so, a process. So we still send up the ministry, so we can't use a like a name. Well, we're supposed to be doing that Monday or so. Well, we got right. to do the, yeah. Next week. We're, Next week we'll we're set working them in. on yeah. stuff, but but if you got like process. supplies or yeah. feminine goods and things like that, send to this address. Um, anything that you guys can help out with supplies or whatever is one four four five fourteen. Hold on, Kingdom Mission Holdings. Yes, it's called Kingdom K I N G D O M Mission M I S S I O N Holdings. H O L D I N G S. That's the uh -oh. name. Sweet 200. The address is going to be 1445 Woodmont, W O O D M O N T, one word, Woodmont Lane, Northwest. Suit or Sweet 200, S T E 200, Atlanta, Georgia 30318. All praises. So um, I don't know if I can type that in here. Let me see. I'm not good. I'll be don't mess up some Facebook. Uh, put it on Facebook. Facebook. Okay, cool. Um, I don't even know how you comment here. All right. Oh. I never use it, so I don't even know how you All comment. Right. Oh, okay, cool. So um anybody who has any feminine goods or you got anything for clothing, we appreciate it. Um and so if you guys want to cash app, the cash app is dollar sign. Yas Y A H S Mana M A N A. Dollar sign Yas Mana. The Zell is, and you guys can write this down 404 808 0303 is the Zell. Um, and PayPal is Yabril Y A H, my name Y H B R I L 46 at gmail.com. So anything you can do, $2.50. $20, clothes, whatever you do, clothes, uh, goods, it'll all be used, all it be used. Because we got some stuff left right. from the last time we're going to use and add up also to give out. Right. All praise to the most high. And so what we try to do when we get any little money is to go out and buy the stuff ahead of time, put it in the freezer, so on that day we can go ahead and just cook everything. And if y'all want to uh, volunteer, please do. Uh, email us, text us. Okay, um, so that's great what you just said yeah if you want to volunteer we need to make sure you email us or text us you can email me at your brill 46 yhbril 46 at gmail.com i prefer you text me on the ministry phone number though um to me that's a lot easier at the 770-276-5840 770-276-5840 now, remember, guys and gals, anything you do, you'll be blessed. Now, remember, the Bible tells us when you do it, you do it in secret. When you do it in secret, the Lord will reward you. What's this, Micaiah? Openly. He'll reward you openly. You don't want to tell people when you're giving alms. You don't want to blow the chauffeur. You don't want to do that. You want to do it so you and your Father in heaven knows you've done it. Then you'll be blessed. It's not about everybody else knowing what you do. It's not about that. It's about you knowing and the Heavenly Father knowing. And that's when you'll be blessed because he's getting ready to come back and we got to get some oil on our lamps. 
This is why we're going out feeding the homeless. We're trying to get, listen, I know me. I was a sinner when I was younger. I didn't know no better. I did a lot of things out of ignorance. There's no such thing as being a perfect person. The Lord said, if you say you don't sin, there's no what? No truth in you. We all sin knowingly and unknowingly. But right now we're trying to atone for that sin. This one of the main reasons we're feeding the homeless is not only that. If we, the Lord said, if you don't love your brother, you don't love what? You don't love me. So we're showing that we love our brothers and sisters. Not only them, but handmaids and servants. Because we feed who all, whoever. Mm -hmm. We don't discriminate when we hand out food. Because the Lord didn't discriminate when he made us, did he? All praise he don't discriminate now. Even no. these heathens get no. light. They get rain. They get, uh, you know. And he's doing that for a reason. Because even get. with these heathens, a lot of them will be in the kingdom. Right. They're going to be the handmaids and servants. have more faith than all of yesterday. Come on. All of us. We read that in many accounts. Yes. The centurion. When he said, you can heal my servant. Just with a word. Just with a word. Because I'm not worthy for you to come in my house. I don't even, because I know the things I've done. I'm not worthy. You sure will say, wait a minute. Did he just say I can do this with a word? <laughs> I've not seen so much faith in all of Israel. Come on. Did I man. see in this man right here? Mm -hmm. This is why he made the first, last, and the last first. They believed more than we did. Mm -hmm. But now he's turning it back over to the kings. He's turned it back over to the priests. He's turned it back over to the prophets. He's building us up from the inside first. Then later he'll build us up on the outside in unwalled villages where he's going to take us to our windowsills. It's deep. All praises to the most high. Beautiful lesson tonight. All praises. Um, we should see you guys again on the Sabbath if it's the Lord's yeah, will. will. Now, I do have a another family member that passed away. So I know on April the Next uh, two in weeks, May, May, May 4th, 4th, is the funeral. So I won't be live on May 4th. I'm telling you guys ahead of time. Uh, it's my favorite uncle passed away. It's 10 kids on my mom's side, 10 on my dad's side. And every one of my, um, only one is left on my dad's side now. His brother, his youngest brother just passed away. So I'm seeing a lot of the elderly of my family pass away. And I, I knew this was coming. We knew that it's time to harvest. And we knew that a lot of people would be leaving this earth. So since I have such a large family, 10 on one, 10 on the other, each one of them have at least minimum of seven to six kids, minimum. So I got tons of cousins and, 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 and nephews and nieces too. And so um, saying that, even myself, I got 32 grandchildren, one on the way. So um, we got a large family. Somebody asked about the, the separate. You have the millennium version, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I have the millennium version, which is the best to me. So Yeah, you, this is the best you one. Can, yeah. uh, you got the link? We got the name? link for it. Queen Station. We need to give them the link for it. Uh, which is uh, the Millennium version of the Sefer has footnotes in it. It's much better, yeah. Where you can reference other scriptures yes. or it gives you the meaning of Hebrew words. Yes. That's used. And like when we don't get certain things, you see how the, the, the brothers and sisters gave us the meanings? Right. You know, this is how we work together as a family. We all share wisdom and knowledge with each other. We're showing love. You got a gift I don't have. You got a gift I don't have. Yeah. You got a gift I don't have. You got a gift I don't have. But we only got one head, but we all make up what? The body. We cannot yeah. do this without each other. We need each other. You know, and that's why this site that we're going to put up is going to be invaluable for our people who want to um, network with each other. It's going to be invaluable. Not only that, we have, when times of um, necessity, we can barter and trade with each other. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty deep. It was well needed. Lord put our hearts a while ago to build the site, and I'm going to go ahead next week. We should have it up by next week. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. And as we say, shalom. Peace and blessings. Peace and family. blessings. We love you. All oh, praise the most high. Great lesson tonight. All oh, praises the most high. And I always end it with my TikTok family. <laughs>